I'm making things with light. Light bright makes them glow so bright. A steamboat, a chicken, and tropical fish. A lemonade side or whatever I wish. And with light bright refills, you can make potato head kids, transformers that glow, my little pony, and others you know. Well, there's G.I. Joe. Light bright. Light bulb not included from Hasbro. Roger control. T minus five and counting. Three, two, one. We have ignition. We have liftoff control. Roger. Looking good. Looks like a beauty. Congratulations, everyone. Come from heart. I will show no mercy. Discover the secrets of karate with Karate Kid Dry Action Figures. Concentrate, Daniel Sun. They chop, twist, and kick. The Karate Kid and Johnny are each sold separately. And for more action, look for the Karate Kid Competition Center from Remco. I'm Bob Keeshan, and welcome to CBS Story Break. Now, all young mice know two things. Never trust a cat. And stay out of the wildberry lot. No mouse has ever returned from that fearful place. And when Tim and Tom ignore the warnings, they soon realize the frightening reason that there is no escape from the wildberry lot. And that becomes a job for the Rogueford Gang, based on Sandy Clifford's book. This is a big market. Can we have this, Nicole? Huh? Can we? I don't know if I have anything to trade for it. Can't we just take it? The people will miss it. No, we never take anything unless we leave something in trade. Ah, they will like this. Good. We've got to be getting home. There is much to do before your grandfather's birthday party. We want to yell surprise! Yeah, he'll be real surprised. Make a wish, Major Taibo. Yay! What did you wish for, Grandpa? I have nothing to wish for. I have you two and Nicole here to take care of you when I can't. I bless the day she came into our lives. Remember that day? I was down at the dock. I was visiting some of my old seagoing friends from the war, and there was Nicole. She had just arrived from, uh, uh, where was it? Paris, France. Uh, no, that wasn't it. I'll tell you where it was. It was Paris, France. She had no job, no place to stay, so I said to her, Young lady, I have two grandchildren to take care of. Would you like to join us? And I said yes right away. No, I believe you said yes right away. In any event, she's now family. And tomorrow, she's taking us to the park to see our friend Rupert Applejohn. Ah, yes, the Applejohn boy. You know, I remember an Applejohn back in the Great Cheese Wars. Did I ever tell you about my days in the cheese underground? I was the greatest tracker in the world. I could find anyone. Thank you for taking care of the twins, Mrs. Applejohn. No trouble at all. 
Rupert, don't you three go too far. We won't, Bob. Come on. Now you go do your shopping, dear. Nothing will happen to them. I hope you're right. It looks like rain. This'll be fun! Come on! Let's go! Watch this! You threw it too hard. What's down there? Don't you know? That's the wildberry lot. We're not supposed to go near there. My mom says it's an evil place. And there's a monster that gobbles up mice, and they're never seen again. We can outrun any old cat. But it's not a cat. It's a monster. We're, We're not afraid of it. it. We want our frisbee back. You better not. Don't go down there. Hey, guys, come back. There's a monster out there. Guys! Guys, don't go down there. Guys! Guys, you could get in trouble. Go! I tried to stop them. I yelled, come back, but they wouldn't come back. Mrs. Applejohn, where's the twins? They wandered off. Rupert isn't sure where. They must be somewhere around here. I will find them. Thank you. Now this message. Every package of Kellogg's Raisin Bran has two scoops of raisins. I know that. But do you know that two scoops are enough to give a plump, juicy raisin to each captain of the Queen's Guard, all the girls on the Cranston High Cougarettes, and Boy Scout Troop 12? That's a lot. There'd still be enough tasty Kellogg raisins for an entire symphony orchestra. That's a crowd of raisins. Now you can share or keep that great taste all to yourself. Kellogg's Raisin Bran, part of this complete breakfast. There's a crowd of raisins in two scoops. Hey, Billy, there are a lot more newborns at the Puppy Town. And they're lonelier than ever. We better rescue them quick. Town Puppy, here I come to get you. Just can't wait to feed and hug and pet you. Town Puppy's newborns need lots of cuddling and caring, each sold separately. We got here just in time. They really do need us. Okay, Mom, we can go now. Wait, this one's so lonely. I'll take care of you. Town Puppy, you're my newborn baby puppy love. New from Tonka. And now back to CBS Storybridge. the twins. I couldn't find them anywhere. Rupert, tell her. I tried to stop them. Honest. He finally told me they went off down to the Wildberry lot. Not the Wildberry lot. I must find them. Thank you. You shouldn't keep things like that to yourself, Rupert. I didn't mean to. Dear Major Tybo, 
The twins and I are spending the evening with Mrs. Appleton. I didn't want to wake you. <coughs> so please, do not worry about where we are. Love, Nicole. Yes, I took the bread and cheese spread from the cupboard, but there is plenty of food for your dinner. Is near. We think not twice. What's there to fear? Are we not mice? <gasps> the Rockford Gang? In person. My name's Marlow. I'm the leader. That's Sid over there. Nice to meet you. Uh, and the big guy, that's Giovanni. Hello. What are you doing in a rotten neighborhood like this, a nice lady like you? It's almost too tough for us. I'm looking for two small children. Can you help me? Us? Help someone? <laughs> we don't help no one, and no one don't help us. And what we want, we just take. You mean you don't leave something in trade, the way I do? Nope. <laughs> Watch this. Oh boy, stale bread. And cheese dip. This is a regular fondue. Think I'll save this for a midnight snack. You shouldn't do that. You can't just take things. Hey, it's a rat race out there, remember? You wanna win? You got to be the biggest rat. All that matters is watching out for numero uno. If you wanna survive, you gotta climb to the top. <laughs> Don't worry, Sid. Almost you, honey. Faster, faster. Okay, Sid. Fine. That was magnifique. You are so heroic. You must help me. Hey, I told you. We're the Rokefoot gang. We don't help no one. Very well. I shall find them myself. Watch out for the big box. Hey, Mo. You trying to help her? Me? Come on. Anyone there? The name of the game is Cheese Rummy. I got a pair of cheddars. Three gorgonzoles. Hello? <laughs> cheese. Maybe the twins are there.
after these messages. You're a fly named Yar on a quest in space. You attack the shield of the Kotile space. But watch out, Yar. He knows where you are. Yar's revenge is new from Atari. Have you played Atari today? With ion zones and evil drones, there's nothing else like Yar's Revenge, the way out space game that's new from Atari. Who else? Have you played Atari today? Now, please pay attention. It's the latest thing, accurate to 100 feet in daylight or night. Hmm, nice balance. Two settings, narrow and wide beams. Electronic sighting. Ingenious. Obvious notion, actually. This is your star sensor. Registers up to six tags. I hope it doesn't ruin the fit of my jacket. Can't you take anything seriously? Relax. It's only a game. Laser tag. Available and moving at the speed of light. Say when, Ernie. Be putting more big, soft chocolatey chips into our Chips Deluxe cookies. Right. Just say when. As soon as we put in enough chips, you holler, okay? We'll add big, soft chips till you say when, Ernie. Ernie? Keeper Chips Deluxe Cookies have more big, soft, chocolatey chips than ever before. Ernie! Wow! When? Keebler Chips Deluxe Cookies. More big, soft, chocolatey chips than ever before. Welcome to all five of you. Private Investigation 101. It's hard-hitting night oh, school on how not to play detective. Taught by professional private investigator Thomas Magnus. <laughs> A class field trip and a missing person's crash course. Is they okay? The homework <laughs> is a killer. Where is he and what's he mixed up in? Murder by degrees on Magnum. Magnum, Tuesday at 7. Why can't I have a normal brother who's not a total embarrassment? That's what I'm here for. Raising three kids is quite a job. What do we do? We do what any sensitive, loving, caring parent would do. But the Seavers have it licked. And I got, are you ready for this? An A! An A? Yeah! Congratulations! <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, we had to, like, list the four basic food groups, and I got every single one of them right. It's growing pains. <laughs> Tuesdays on KEZI. And now, back to CBS Story Break. Somebody help me, I'm trapped Nicole? Twins? Anyone? Uh, twins and I, evening with Mrs. Applejohn, so and so and so. Cheese rummy guys, remember Monterey Jacks are wild. It's your move, Marlo. Help! Help! We can't just sit here and play cards. Come on, she needs us. Come on, pull! Not while we're around. Giovanni, hurry! Giovanni, it's leaving! <laughs>
know, Keats. Have you been a good boy? That's a good kitty. You're a good watch cat. You like this? Hmm. Well, you've done a good job taking care of our merchandise. I only caught one this time, but hey, can't get lucky all the time, right? <laughs> Tomorrow we'll start filling this month's orders. Keep your eye on them all, Keats. Otherwise, I'm going to have a couple of very mad pet store owners. See you later, Keats. Don't even think about escaping. It's Nicole! She's come to save us! Nicole, Nicole has come to save us! Your spirit sag, your heart must sink, for you, my dear, are in the clink. Oh, no, isn't the poetry. I never hurt you. I never hurt anyone. What are you going to do with us? It is not fair. It is not nice. But pet stores pay big bucks for mice. Yeah, I wrote that. Do you like it? Not particularly. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole. Yeah. Chop kidney again. I am so glad to see you. Yeah, yeah. Now listen. Keep that cat's attention. We'll do the rest. But what can you do? Hey, we're the Rockford gang. A slice of meat, a slab of fish. My life is but a supper dish. Oh, Monsieur Cat. Yes? Could you perhaps recite me more of your beautiful poetry? Oh, you do appreciate the finer things. I am one of the greatest cat poets alive. Here is what I call Ode to Catnip. Oh, Catnip, my Catnip. Whene'er you are in bloom, your fragrance it entices me, as sweet as fine perfume. Oh, Catnip, my Catnip, your magic does its work. That's why when I inhale you, I act just like a jerk. <laughs> the dog by Keats. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Dogs are stupid. Dogs are rotten. Dogs should promptly be forgotten. When I see a hound or beagle, I think they should be illegal. Dogs can't climb and dogs can't purr. Cats are what the smart prefer. Poodle, pooch, or pekinese. Let us send them overseas. I am very grateful that I was born in not dog, but cat. Okay, it's looped through all the cage doors. Now let's pull. We're not strong enough to budget. But I know who is. I have some more for you. But first, I hunger again. I'm trying to tie a rope to his tail, but it's too short. Do you have any string? String? Yes. Yes, with this yarn, do. Why am I eating chopped kidney? There is a mouse here for dinner. And the master won't miss one measly mouse. I'm sorry, but a poet can't be eating chopped yish kidney. Let go of her. Ooh, a four-course rodent dinner. Marlo, do something. I don't know how to save her. I do. You had better give her back, or you will be my midnight snack. I told you they'd save us. No, I told you. No, I told you. Is this any way to treat a poet? Been a long time since 
since I had a good to do with a cat. The cat is after Grandpa and Nicole. You stay here. I'll go help them. Nicole, do you still have the cheese spread you took from the house? No. I've got it. Even poets, it's been stated, sometimes are humiliated. <sighs> calm down, calm down, all of you! Hooray for Major Tybo! And much credit goes to these three heroes. Listen, everyone, if ever you're in trouble in the future, just send for us. Right! We'll be there. Who are you? Who are we? <laughs> Let's tell them, guys. We're, We're three, three for one and one for three. The Rockford Gang is who are we? The danger's near. We think not twice. What's there to fear? Are we not mice? Yeah! <laughs> And now, this message. It's coming. Think of And it tastes so sweet. You hot when you eat. Come on, honey smack. When you buy a box of Girl Scout cookies, you're helping a girl spend a week at camp. Or giving her the chance to feel part of a team. You're helping her learn a new skill and share the fun. Taking orders and delivering a product helps Girl Scouts develop responsibility. Brought you your cookies. Thank you. So when you buy Girl Scout cookies, you're investing in the future through a girl. And you're getting a great box of cookies. The latest, the greatest, new dancing party. me to join the band. He said, that's cool. Now I dance with my man. Don't be so physically. Barbie and the Rockers. <laughs> she, chocolate fun, one, one of the all-time greats. Hershey. <laughs> she, chocolate fun, one of the all-time greats. <laughs> Now back to CBS Storybridge. Let me ask you something. Do you think snuff and chewing tobacco are safe to use? Well, they're not. Snuff and chewing tobacco are a cancer risk to your mouth. 
like smoking is a risk to your lungs. Using this can result in cancer of the mouth or throat, as well as destroying your teeth and gums. The only way to avoid tobacco's danger is to avoid tobacco, all tobacco. Brought to you by the Lane County Dental Society. Ronald McDonald in Hoppin' for Fries. Hop this way for McDonald's French Fries. It's a hopstickle course. Let's get hoppin'. Never more than a hop, skip, and a jump away. Forgot your lunch again. Mm-hmm. Is it important? To me, the smallest detail is important. Even lunch? Oops. Thanks. Think you'll find any dinosaur bones today? Well, I hope so. Our time here is almost up. If we don't find something soon, we'll have to move on. Try someplace else. But we were just getting used to this place. We like it here. We, we'd better get going. Come on.
return after these messages. Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. See any ghosts? Not yet. Bigman, it's back to the bone. Get me out. Looks like you're really into them, Stan. <laughs> safe. Not so safe. It's Slut Bucket. What a slob. I've been gooped. Peter Bankman, bad to the bone and sludge bucket with ectoplasm, each sold separately. Ghostbusters from Kenner. Watch me trick Fred out of his new fruity pebbles with lime green. Good day, Mike. Rockadile Bond, D. If you don't give him green, me rockadile gets mean. He's after your fruity pebbles, Mike. Mm, new lime malicious fruity pebbles. What? <laughs> See you later, alligators. Fruity pebble cereal, now with lime green. Bottomless, nutritious breakfast. Yeah, but that's delicious. Sure, we all love these new peanut butter and fudge giggles cookies. The faces are really, uh... Amusing. Yeah, amusing. And the two kinds of cream peanut butter and fudge are really... Excellent. Excellent. But those giggles commercials when kids are laughing, slapping tables... It just doesn't happen. New peanut butter and fudge giggles cookies. Two kinds of cream in each funny face. It doesn't happen. It happens. to be precise. At least I think that's right, isn't it? Well, let's see. Do you eat tumbleweeds? Yes, I do. Do you have a tiny head and big scales? Yes, I do. You're not a brontosaurus. Oh, no, much too small. Well, there it is. I am a stegosaurus, no doubt about it. Wait a minute. Dinosaurs can't talk. Oh? Do you know anyone who's ever tried to talk with a dinosaur? Have you? Well... No, not exactly. As I thought. Case closed. But that's because they're all extinct. Well, not from where I'm standing. You can't blame them for being a little surprised. But we are grateful, really, for what you did. I wish I could give you something. But all I have is this. Very good. What is it? It's called gum. You've never heard of it? I don't have much contact with people. I guess I'm, well, kind of shy, even for a dinosaur. I don't like people to know I'm here. But you helped us. Why? Well, there's no one else around, and I won't stand by and let anyone be hurt. I had to do it. Actually, I shouldn't even be awake right now. I sleep for ages. Years and years. Oh, but then my tooth started to hurt. It woke me up, and I've been... People! Oh, they'll be here any second. They'll see me. I'll never get back to the cave in time. Don't worry. I'll slow them down. Plenty of time for what we need to do. Let's just get going. Thank goodness 
it worked. Yes, it did. Thank you. Ah! How can somebody as big as you move so quietly? You watch rabbits for a couple of thousand years, and you'll learn. Now, if you'll excuse me, all this excitement has made my tooth hurt much more. I think I need to lie down for a while. I don't suppose you have any more of that uh, gum. It makes my tooth feel better for some reason. I'm sorry I startled you before. Well, that's okay. I guess I'm just not used to seeing dinosaurs. Neither am I. You're silly. I am not. I'm the last surviving dinosaur in the world. At least I thought I was. But then earlier, I saw a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl? A flying lizard, black against the sun. They're terrible. They'd swoop down and steal our eggs. Terrible, terrible. I better go quickly before it comes back. I'm, well, I'm afraid of it. But, but pterodactyls are extinct. Yes, but as you said, so am I. Wait, don't go. Will we see you again? Oh, just come to this place and call my name. If I'm awake, I'll come. But we don't know your name. That's because I don't have one. You'll have to give me a name. How about Fred? No, I don't think so. Murray? It's a nice name, but I don't think it's me. I know. What about George? Oh, yeah, George. I like it. It tastes good in my mouth. Just call George and I'll come running. George? What kind of a name is that? It's all I could think of under the circumstances. Okay, now, we're agreed. George is our secret. Remember, he's shy. He doesn't want people knowing he's out there. Right. He's our secret. By the way, what do you think that car you stopped was doing all the way out there? You think maybe they were looking for dinosaur bones like Dad? Maybe. There sure isn't anything else out there of value. Mark! Hey, Mark! <coughs> oh, hi, Joey. What's up? You'll never guess what we found out in the desert. A dinosaur. Joey! You mean a dinosaur bone, don't you? I mean a real dinosaur. His name's George. Yeah, sure, right. Boy, you must think I'm really dumb. George. Sheesh. I thought George was our secret. He is, but I tell Mark all my secrets. Come on, let's get the supplies Mom wanted. What's the point of having secrets if you can't tell anybody? And a dozen eggs. Uh, anything else? No, that'll... You can't do that! Oh, 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 happened so we didn't see anything that's okay we got a good description of them they were seen heading towards southwest corners in a black sedan but we've got roadblocks up they won't get far southwest corners but that's where dad's digging we've got to get to him and warn him can you show us where he is sure all right then you come with us joan i think you'd best head on home i will i wouldn't worry if there's anything suspicious out there even a mouse they'll find it Oh, no. George is out there, and he's certainly bigger than a mouse. If they find him... I'll be back for the supplies later, Mr. Clarkson. There's something I have to do. Fast. <laughs> you 
not to surprise me like that. Oh, never mind. You've got to hide. The police are coming. They're searching for bad men. But they might find you, too. They'll just keep searching until... No, wait. If we found the robbers first, I could tell the police where they are. Then they'd stop looking. And if they're not looking for them, they won't find you. I think I understand that. My tooth is hurting so much it makes thinking harder than usual. But it's a good plan. I'll help. I'm much faster than your horse. <laughs> we'll find them together. Climb on! Oh, no. I told you. I told you I saw it. It's him! It's him! It's the Pterodactyl! We'll return after these messages. Super Hair Barbie doll with magic hair barrette and a glamorous jumpsuit. New from Mattel. No fish, hee hee. But that's lots of fruit island cereal. Oh, yumma yumma. Hey, fish. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, big fish. <laughs> fruit Island's brand cereal is part of this complete breakfast. Puny fish. Where is Fruit Island's? <laughs> You can help the king and he get home in the fine fruit island sweepstakes. Use the game pen and map in specially marked boxes. Millions will enter, thousands will win. Watches, stereos, TVs, and more. One will win a treasure of toys. A yama yama. For free game pieces, write box 8501, Westport, Connecticut. The Fry Step, starring Ronald McDonald and friends. If you hop all around like the Fry Kids do, you're doing the Fry Step. It's fun for you. Fry girls. And now back to CBS Story Break. It's gone. Are you sure? Positive. That's the same plane we saw earlier. Let's go, George. That away. But the pterodactyl went that way. Exactly. First to think. Then I can't sleep. People find me. And now I'm off chasing pterodactyls. I want you to know I'm not enjoying this. With some gun help? I thought you'd never ask. Good thing we were able to find you so quickly. Your son knows some shortcuts we've never even heard of. He's a scientist, son. Observation is second nature to Joey. Now we best be heading home and... Look! That's the same plane we saw before. Right before we saw the big black car with two men in it. Before the robbery? It fits this recent crime spree, Matt. You know, that gang that lands outside town, robs it, and takes off before they can be caught. It's gotta be them. But we'll never get there in time. And they can't stay out here. They'll have to come with us. Just keep back there and out of trouble. It's him, all right. The terrible pterodactyl. We've got to get out of here. George, that's not a pterodactyl. It's an airplane. Does it have feathers? No, it does not have feathers. Then it's a pterodactyl and I'm going back to sleep. George, look! Oh, do I have to? It's them, the robbers. It must be. Oh, well, I wouldn't worry. 
the pterodactyl will eat them and we can all go home. May I gather from this book that we're not going home? Bingo. Then I shall eat more gum. It makes my tooth feel better. And I don't like to face doom with a sore tooth. How long do you figure it takes two, three men to empty some bank bags into a plane? Not long. Not long at all. We'll never make it. The police must have seen a plane landing. But where are they? Something up? Thought I heard something. Must have been my imagination. Well, imagine yourself helping to load the stuff. We gotta get out of here. Fast! They're going to do it, George. They're going to get away. We've got to do something. You won't have to do anything, Joan. The pterodactyl's already got them. Maybe I can get the plane's ID number. <laughs> what do you think, George? Think I can do it? I heard something. Come on, girly girl. I'm gonna show you what we do to nosy girls' noses. Joan? Joan? Why, that greedy pterodactyl? He's already got three people, and now he wants Joan, too. Well, I'll show him. You hear something? Not like thunder. Not thunder. Dust devils are a whirlwind, maybe, but whatever it is, it's coming this way. Fast. is? A stegosaurus tooth? It's a stegosaurus tooth, and fantastically well-preserved. I'll say. I'll have to call the Institute. We'll need funding, and some more supplies, and a whole research team pronto. Joan, Joey, it looks like we'll be here for a good long time after all. And then Dad said we'd be here for a good long time. I can hardly wait. It'll be so exciting. Teams and teams of people all over the place, looking everywhere. Who knows what they'll find? Next? Oh, no. If they come, they'll... they'll find you, won't they? There's got to be something we can do, a way we can fool them. What if we... No, my friends. They will come. You cannot stop them. So... I must go. Now that my tooth has stopped hurting, I can sleep again. I will go back to sleep, and I will dream of you, my friends. Goodbye, then. 
think of me from time to time. It will make me happy to know I am remembered. Goodbye, George. George, wait. I have something for you. A gift. I wanted it to be a thank you present. But now it's a goodbye present. Is that what I think it is? Of course, silly. I am not silly. I am the last of my kind. At the best. Well, don't cry, Joan. We have something the few creatures ever get. A friendship that will last forever. How long is forever? Forever is even older than me. Well, anyway, here's your present. Now take your time with it. I don't know when or where you'll ever get any more. Goodbye, George. What a silly name for a dinosaur. It's a good name. Really. By the way, what, uh, what was in the box? See for yourself. And now, this message. Hi, Peter. Peter, what are you doing? Peter Kellogg's Corn Flakes. That's Daddy's cereal. There's lots of cereals for you, but those are Daddy's, Peter. If you pour milk on those, you're in big trouble. You're in big trouble. You thought I was kidding, but I'm not kidding. You're in major, major trouble. And I'm serious. Kellogg's Corn Flakes is part of this nutritious breakfast. Peter, if you take one more mouthful... <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'll tell mommy. A new racing team is shifting into gear. Mask. Tracker Cedars. Don't race off on my account, Mayhem. Mask, Buzzard and Goliath. Each sold separately with two figures. Buzzard, convert. Wrong. You flag cover. I'm heading upstairs, Nevada. Roger, Matt. Okay, Mayhem. This round's for you. Mask, <laughs> where illusion <laughs> is the ultimate weapon. Mask, Goliath, and Buzzard, each sold separately. New from Kenner.
you were Eddie. Eddie, is he still bothering you? Yep. Today he tripped me, punched me, and smashed me in the face with a cream-filled cupcake. You know, sooner or later, you're gonna have to stand up to that bully. Are you kidding? He'd bite my head off. But if you'd only... Come on, Mindy. Stop bugging me about him. In that case, walk home by yourself. Come on, quit it. <gasps> quit what, nerd? I haven't done anything to you. Yet. Oh, sorry, Eddie. I... I thought you were Mindy. Are you calling me a girl? What I mean is... What I mean is... I'm in big trouble, huh? If I were you, nerd, I'd prepare for the worst. You're really in trouble. I'll get you for this, nerd. coin tricks? Tricks? I don't sell tricks. My magic is the real thing. Ah, I know exactly what you need. You do? Inside this box is a ring, but not an ordinary ring. The monster's ring. What kind of trick does it do? You'll see. It's a sensation. Positively amazing. And not only that, it's guaranteed to work as long as you need it. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Time to close shop. The instructions are in the box. Follow them carefully. But I didn't pay you. Well, what do you have? Only a quarter. Exactly the price. Here, take this door home faster. Huh? How did I get here? That was weird. I better get home. Dad'll be worried. lives in this ring. So say the chant and you'll be a scream. Aw, oh, it's just a dumb gag, like x-ray glasses. What a waste of a quarter. Squint thy left eye and say, Remnant of the magic ring, change me to a monstrous thing. P.S. Have fun.
sure would have been great to turn into a monster and scare Eddie. Oh well. Stupid ring. No such thing as monsters. Huh? Was that me? Turn after these messages. Gasoline advertising uses these words a lot. You know what they mean? Gasolines are all the same. Until now. One is better. In a BMW test run on each of the six leading national gasolines, one clearly surpassed the others. Texaco System 3. Only Texaco System 3 removed deposits from dirty intake valves. Can that make a difference on the road? thought all gasolines were the same. <sighs> Man, what a nutty dream. <sighs> what? wasn't a dream. Russ, you up yet? Up? No, I mean, yeah, Dad. Hurry and get ready. Don't forget I'm driving you to school today, and we're picking up Mindy. I think I'd better stay home. I'm not feeling too good. Then you'd better get back in bed. <sighs> I'll be right up to take your temperature. You do sound a little hoarse. return to me and make me as I used to be. Hurry, hurry! I'm coming! You know, Dad, I think I'm okay after all. My, your throat certainly cleared up fast. Yeah, just in time. Looks like some sort of commotion went on last night. My aunt told my mother that she heard about a maniac who was fleeing on street lamps. And she's in cars down Main Street. It can't be. I agree with you, son. It does seem rather far-fetched. Maybe. But Aunt Betty said he was on all fours and snapping at hubcaps. Better hurry or we'll be late. I gotta go to my locker. See you in class. Okay. Hey, nerd. Oh, no. Now you're really gonna get it. Hope this works. Here goes. Gremlin of the magic ring changed me to a monstrous thing. I'm gonna teach you a lesson you won't forget. He's coming this way. He's a horrible, ugly... Principal Ratchet? No, he wasn't the one I... Oh, dear. We're both late for class. But it wasn't old man Ratchet. I mean, Principal Ratchet. Huh. Being a monster isn't so bad.
Oh, uh, what did your silly Aunt Betty know? She's not silly. Besides, Greg's brother saw the maniac, too. Didn't he, Greg? Oh, actually, it was his girlfriend's mother who saw it. Big deal. His girlfriend's mother is your Aunt Betty. You agree with me, don't you, Russell? Isn't there a maniac on the loose? How would I know? A nerd? Oh. Uh, Bet you think you're pretty clever sending that creep after me. So the nerd doesn't want to talk. Maybe he's a little thirsty. Eddie, stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Yikes. Where'd he go? of the magic ring changed me to a monstrous thing. I'll teach you to get spaghetti up my nose. <laughs> Miss Snurgle! Now see here, Eddie. That maniac everyone's been talking about, I just saw him. You did? Where? Over there. Here he comes! Uh, hi. You young man are going to the principal's office. But... And Russell, you're coming too. We can't permit food fights. Sorry, Miss Snurgle. You are nothing but a troublemaker. I won't have you spreading these rumors about a maniac in my school. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. And in the future, meatballs and spaghetti are not to be used for violence. Understood? I'm really sorry, Mr. Rashnitz. You may return to your class. Of course, I will be reporting this matter to your parents. I'm on to you, nerd. Watch out, because I'm going to make you pay sometime when your friend's not around. Have a good time at the ball game. I will, as long as I don't run into Eddie. Who? Oh, that bully. If I were you, I'd make friends with him. Friends with Eddie? He'd kill me. Here he comes. Careful. That nerd's got himself a bodyguard, a real hulk. But if you guys help, we can beat them both up. Why should we? Yeah, what's in it for us? Tell you what, the nerd's got a great bike. We'll take it away from him, and we can share it between us. Okay, you got yourself a deal. Me and Luke keep the bike six and a half days a week. You get it Wednesday from 2 to 3.30. Whatever you say. Come on. Let's get ready for it. Hey, let go! Okay, nerd. Get off our bike. Uh, sure. No problem. Guess you're gonna have to call your bodyguard. What bodyguard? Gremlin of the... Shut up, creep. Turn after these messages. Hey now, kids, come gather around. See what just skipped in the town. So skip it, skip it. You run to jump to hop hop. Skip it, skip it. Two banana screaming and a bop to bop. But the very best thing of all, there's a counter on this ball. So try to beat your very best score. See if you can jump a whole lot more. Skip it, skip it. Come on, everybody, skip it. Roaring good fun from Tiger Toy. If you want to go to Europe this summer and you put it off, then you're going to end up spending another summer not doing what you want to do. And that's no way to live your life, and you know it. Especially when you're 40 or 45 or 50. You find yourself remembering not so much what you did with your life, but what you didn't do with it. 
So you can put off going to Europe this summer because you don't want to touch the money you've stashed away. Well, there are ways around that. Or you can put off going because of the economy. But what happens if the economy has you a little nervous next summer too? You put off going again. And what about the summer after that? And that's exactly the point. Either you let your life slip away by not doing the things you want to do, or you get up and do them. And now back to CBS Storybrain. Go on, call your bodyguard. We're ready for him. I said I don't have a bodyguard. Yes, you do. I'm on to you. He's always around when you need him. Okay, then where is he? The nerd's right. I don't see any bodyguard. You know, I think Eddie's just scared of handling him on his own. Yeah, Eddie's almost the worst twerp than the nerd is. Let's go. Wait, come back. You trying to make a fool out of me or something? Don't blame me. So, your friend didn't show up. Well, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. I'm borrowing your bike, and I won't give it back till I feel like it. Bye, nerd. You can't take my... Gremlin of... Russell, I saw what happened. You're not gonna let Eddie get away with that, are you? Uh, well, you see... No, I'm gonna deal with Eddie in my own way. Look at that. Everyone's dressed up for the Halloween parade after school. Everyone except you. It's just that this year I thought I'd go as myself. Well, if that's what you want. Hmm. Isn't that boy riding your bike? Yeah, it's Eddie. I let him borrow it. Eddie? Oh, yes, the bully. Well, I'm glad to see you took my advice. Hey, that's Eddie on the nerd's bike. Yeah. You know what? I think that twerp pulled a fast one on us. Let's get it. Leave everything to me. I'll take care of him. Now, class, if a vampire has three quarts on deposit at the blood bank and takes out a pint, how many cups are left? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time for the costume parade. I'll meet you all in five minutes on the playground. Russell, I'm surprised you didn't dress up. You had such a clever costume last year. I see you're wearing your nerd costume. Actually, I do have a costume, and I'm gonna put it on now. Gremlin of the magic ring changed me to a monstrous thing. Okay, Eddie, get ready for the scare of your life. Wow, what a costume! Yeah, it's incredible. I can't even tell who you are. It's Russell! That's his shirt! It's wild! I made it from stuff we had around the house. Wow, you sound like a gorilla. Come on, wait till Miss Snurgle sees this. There you go. Miss Snurgle, you gotta see Russell. What? Isn't it great? Russell, is that you in there? Uh-huh. Come on, Russell, take off your mask. Where did you get those fangs? Wow! Uh-oh. Oh, Russell, what a gross tail. Huh? I didn't see that tail before. It's great. It looks so real. Russell has some professional secrets that he'd rather not divulge. <gasps> Come on, the parade's gonna start. Wait till everyone sees Russell. Where'd he go? Boom, 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 boom. Fun. Now I'm taking back my bike. Your bike? Huh? It's the monster. It, 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 it was Russell. He took my bike and flew away. He flew? Oh, yeah, sure. You expect? 
expect us to believe that? It was Russell's bike, wasn't it? Yeah, but that'll teach you to take somebody else's bike. The parade's starting. Enough of this nonsense. Come on! right eye let now my shape return to me and make me as I used to be all right that was fun I'm telling you the truth a monster took it look nerd we was the ones who got you the bike so we want it why won't you believe me the monster flew away with it Tell me where you put it or I'll park your head in that bike rack. No, please don't. Ha, a crybaby nerd. That's not fair. I gotta help him. Huh? What happened? The ring, it's gone. Now what am I gonna do? Let him go. Huh? What? You heard me. Let him go. You know it's good for you. That's better. Yeah. Now get out of here. Do hurt him. Get going. Uh, I got better things to do. Now it all makes sense. It's guaranteed to work as long as you need it. I guess I don't need the ring anymore. Hey, you really suck. I know. If you ever need any help, just call on me. Thanks, but I think from now on I can stand up for myself. Hey, uh, Russell, were you really that monster? And now this message. A Storybreak presentation not seen in more than 15 years. The Gamage Cup premieres December 3rd. Like you crave that corn when it's freshly bobbed. You gotta beat it to the box with the butter on the top. Get with it, man. Start strolling down to the sweets that you're rolling, the best in town. Our candy's real gone, if I'm understood. To all you squares, that means the confection is positively delicious. Cork that stuff. Give me five. Let me send you into this nutty jive. <laughs> Go, it ain't very far. Shake it on down to this cool snack bar. Come on, Jill, give us a treat. A friendly pepper upper with a tasty beat. Drink Dr. Pepper, Dr. Dr. Pepper, cause it never let you down. Frosty, man, frosty. To obtain a CBS Story Break Teacher's Guide to Using Captions for Reading, call your local CBS station or write to the address on the screen.
wholesome bunch, the low sugar cereal with lots of courage. Yes, it's indubitably. 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 Delicious. Post crispy critter cereal is part of a balanced breakfast. Ha cha cha cha. You can get 20 free animal stickers when you buy Mark Boxes of Post Crispy Critter Cereal for a bowl full of fun. Stick them here and there. Or anywhere. Indubitably. <laughs> Ronald McDonald and Friends in Daydream. If I had my way, I'd spend every day with Ronald and all of his friends. Come on, let's have fun. Everybody, let's go to McDonald's. What a wonderful dream. It would be such fun to do. Dana, we're going to McDonald's. And sometimes happy dreams really come true. It's a good time for the great days of McDonald's. Monday. This is the worst evening of my life. Will Ellie cater her ex-husband's anniversary? This is a life and death situation. You want my advice? Cheese Whiz and Ripple. Then, I'm looking forward to going to the dance with you. Is this Patty's dream date? He's not even peeing. But boy, can he dance. I watch a lot of MTV. My sister Sam. The words on the bottom of your TV screen are captions for deaf and hard of hearing people. See how captioning can work for you. Read and watch CBS Story Break. Next. Punctual as always. I understand there is an assignment? There is. Twelve years ago, something of a surprise happened in North America. The first witch of this century was born. Her name is Gwyneth Markham. Does she, um, know? Not yet, but it is time. Rosetta, you must teach young Gwyneth her powers and guide her in using them wisely. Remember, your magic does not work beyond these walls. You must rely on Gwen's. I won't disappoint you, ma'am. Griselda, please assist Rosetta's journey through the Well of Witches. Good luck, my dear. Ready? Goodbye, Griselda. Turn after these messages. When you want a moment to last, shop at Nobody Beats the Wiz for a videotape that will. Superior picture. Superior sound. Superior price. Max L. More than just a pretty picture. On sale at Nobody Beats the Wiz. You crave that corn when it's freshly bobbed. You gotta beat it to the box with the butter on the top. 
get with it, man. Start strolling down to the sweets that you roll in, the best in town. Our candy's real gone, if I'm understood. To all you squares, that means the confection is positively delicious. Cork that stuff. Give me five. Let me send you into this nutty jive. <laughs> Shake it on down to this cool snack bar. Come on, Jill, give us a treat. A friendly pepper upper with a tasty beat. Drink Dr. Pepper, Dr. Dr. Pepper, cause it never let you down. Frosty, man, frosty. Zelda. My word, the colonies have certainly changed. Um, excuse me, could you direct me to Gwyneth Markham's house? Well, you put a little armor on a horse and he gets a high opinion of himself. Uh, what in Wales was that? I'll be safer up here. Yeah, it was a good movie. Even better than the magic sword. Hmm, it's Gwen. I think they were gross. Mm, my word, this may be difficult. <gasps> it's a cat. She's all dirty. Gee, she must be lost. Poor thing, she needs a home. I'm gonna keep her. Please, can I keep her? Well... She may belong to someone else, Gwen. See, she has a collar. Her name is Rosetta, but there's no address. Well, in that case, I think you can keep her. Oh, thanks, Mom. It's okay, Dinky. Quiet, boy. Where'd you get the cat, Gwen? Can I hold her, Gwen? Huh? Can I? I found her. And you can hold her, Dee Dee, if you're very, very gentle. Nice, kitty. That's odd. Dinky seems frightened of Rosetta. I know. Usually he's so friendly. Uh, Dinky's okay. He just doesn't like cats is all. The Queen Mother said nothing about living with a dog, or two young children, or armored horses. Rosetta, you must teach young Gwyneth her powers. Well, there's no time to start like the present. I'll wake Gwen with some music. My clock radio must have gone off. What in Wales is a clock radio? Hmm, let's see what she says about this. Okay, I'm up. My room is I gotta thank Mom. She must have cleaned it while I was sleeping. Heavens, are you all right? Go away. We don't need any magic cats around here. Actually, I'm not a magic cat. Merely a witch cat. <laughs> you don't fool me. I saw you move Gwen's clothes all over the place. Quite true. But I was using Gwen's magic. A witch cat has her own magic only on Halloween. <laughs> what do you mean, Gwen's magic? Gwen is a witch. The first of the century. Isn't it wonderful? You're lying. Gwen's no witch. She's too nice. <laughs> Not all witches <laughs> are evil. <laughs> I'm here to teach Gwen to be a good witch. Now, can't we be friends? It would make my job much easier. You're just here to make trouble, and I'm not gonna let you. Thanks for babysitting, Susanna. Big test, huh? Oops. Apples? For the kids. Hope I brought enough for everyone. How thoughtful, dear. I'll be back at six. 
A box with talking pictures. A light just by pushing a button. A machine that flies. No wonder nobody believes in magic anymore. It's just not my fault that Gwen hasn't learned anything yet. Here she is, here she is, Jason. Now we have enough for my tea party. Oh, poor. Great punch again. Come on, Jason. It's pretend. It's tea. Okay, okay. Too bad Gwen isn't back yet. She loves tea parties. Wow! You didn't tell us you were having a party. I'm not. I don't know how this got here. And do you, Rosetta? How cute. Little cats. Gwen, is that you? I left you a treat in the kitchen. Hope you like it. Like it? We love it. Thanks, Susanna. Gee, Gwen, I'm going to have my mom get Susanna to babysit me. Why oh, so sad, Rosetta? Here, enjoy the party. Oh, what a feast! Can I steal a cinnamon roll? But I thought this was your treat. Well, I just brought some apples. Guess Mom did it. Dinky. That's the bravest thing you've ever done. How are you feeling? Not the best. Oh, oh don't worry. You'll be fine in a few weeks. I guess I, uh, well, if it weren't for you, I, uh... It wasn't me, Dinky. Gwen saved you with her magic. She's going to make a good witch. I guess so. Come, come. I think it's splendid. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Don't you trust me yet, Dinky? Well, it's just that if Gwen is really a witch, and if you're really a witch cat, well, well what am I going to do? Dinky, remember, Gwen will always love you. No, I don't think so. Today, will you go on a walk with me? Uh, I don't feel like it. But, Dinky, before Gwen left, I heard her say your injuries will never heal if you keep brooding. Oh, I don't care anymore. Since Dinky's laid up, let's take Rosetta. Where are we going, Jason? We should never ever go in there. Stop being a baby. Where else can we play explorer? Gee, <coughs> Jason, the cat doesn't look very happy. Uh, she'll be okay once we get inside. The cave's probably got rats and snakes. Lots of things she'll like. Snakes and rats? Jason, it's dark in here. Rosetta, come back! Hey, where'd she go? Rosetta? Rosetta! 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 Ros
These messages. It began with a nut and a bolt that shook his top hat with a jolt. Pee Pee Crisp an idea for a munch, but with Graham Cookie outside for crunch. Inside a center so sweet, peanut butter cream, oh a treat. A taste so enormously grand, made to fit in the palm of your hand. Pee Pee Crisp, Pee Pee Crisp, Pee Pee Crisp. Peanut butter cream is the name of the dream. Pee Pee Crisp, Pee Pee Crisp, Pee Pee Crisp. The sweet taste that is destined for fame. Pee Pee Crisps and new chocolate, yes, chocolate crisps from planters. Does your family like grilled cheese sandwiches? Well, they'll like these baked cheese sandwiches even better. And so will you. They're so good and so easy. Made with double-rich pet evaporated milk. They're richer, tastier. And here's why. You mix pet milk with beaten egg and salt. Then dip one side of bread slice into this rich mixture. Now put the bread, milk side down, on a greased pan and top with slices of cheese. Spread with chili sauce or mustard. Put another slice of bread, milk side up, on top. In about 10 minutes baking time, you'll have golden brown mouth-melting baked cheese sandwiches guaranteed to make a hit with your whole family. Want the recipe? It's in Mary Lee Taylor's new pet milk cookbook, Good Food, Sure to Please. To get your free copy, just send a postcard with your name and address and the words good food to Pet Milk Company, Box 888, St. Louis 1, Missouri. Pet Milk Company, Box 888, St. Louis 1, Missouri. And now back to CBS Storybreak. The walls, they're so high. <laughs> Have you seen Rosetta? No, dear, but she'll turn up. Oh, something must be wrong. Rosetta's always here when I come home. <coughs> Think you can find her, Dinky? <coughs> Dinky, wait! <coughs> Good boy, you got her scent. I hope nothing's happened to her. Sure, Dinky. What would Rosetta be doing way out here? Rosetta! A hole! Dinky, thank you, boy. Oh, Rosetta, how did you get down there? Oh, I wish I had a rope or something. I don't believe it. Rosetta, you're okay. But how did you do that? How did you fly? This is very generous of you, Dinky. The bed is quite comfortable. Oh, forget it. And I'm ever so grateful you found me. You're quite the tracker, you know. Well... Poor Jason and Dee Dee. Grounded till Halloween. They were only playing. Do you think Gwen knows now? Since you flew and all. Oh, I'm afraid not. She explained it away like everything else. And now I may be running out of time. What? Well, it is possible I could be removed from this assignment. Removed? You mean leave? But Gwen would be heartbroken. I'd miss her, too, very much. N now, Dinky, my head hurts. I must rest. Halloween is only a few days off. Night, Rosetta. Trick or treat! Oh, you scared me.
they gone? Who? The vampire and the creature. All sorts of monsters come out in Halloween, you know. Dinky, that was Jason and his friend dressed up. No, it wasn't. They were monsters. I saw them. My word. Come along. I'll show you. Oh, hey, what's going on? I'm flying. Relax, Dinky. I have my own magic on Halloween, remember? Oh, I hope so. Or oh, we're in big trouble. See? Jason and his friend. Promise? You have my word. Oh, I knew it was them all along. There's Gwen. This is the night, Dinky. I'm determined to make her understand. Uh, never been in a tree before. Be still. Here they come. A lousy pencil. Oh, Mr. Norton is really getting chintzy. Well, Mobs' Halloween is expensive these days. A pencil? I thought it was supposed to be chocolate candy. Perhaps I can do something about that. Can you make them with raisins? If you want. Maybe it's one of those candy pencils. Now, where does it go? What's this? A giant chocolate bar with raisins. <gasps> I've got one, too. Me, too. I don't get it. My pencil's gone. Yeah. Me, too. I bet old Mr. Norton is a magician. He just made us think we were getting pencils. Must have been a magic trick. And to think I called him chintzy. Magic trick? Come on. We need more candy than this. Yeah. Before Dinky gains 10 pounds, maybe you'd like to tell us what's bothering you. I'm not sure it makes sense. Try us, dear. Well, it, it's just that these strange things have happened since I found Rosetta. Strange? Well, they're almost magical. Well, how would you explain it? First there was a tea party nobody threw. Then Dinky suddenly fought off a gigantic dog. And when I found Rosetta in the cave, well, well, she actually flew into my arms. What are you saying, dear? That Rosetta is a magic cat? Well, it's the only thing I can think of. Now, Gwen, there's an explanation for everything, and it's not magic. But Rosetta flew into my arms. You probably just pulled on the rope so hard she seemed to fly. I... I can't remember. Don't worry, Rosetta. Gwen will catch on soon. I was so certain she'd understand when she saw the candy bar. Well, you'll think of something else. I'm not sure anymore. I'm afraid I've run out of ideas. Nasty fight. <coughs> For Zelda, what are you doing here? The Queen Mother wants to see you. I assume the girl is trained by now. It's been ages. Well, um, there have been a few complications. What? I would have flown around the house once and been done with it. Whatever. Are you coming? I'm afraid I'll have to leave, Dinky. So you'll be in charge of the house. Me? Yes. Keep an eye on Gwen for me. Oh, I sure. But, Rosetta, are you coming back? That's up to the Queen Mother. Ready? Oh, I hate when they do that. Oh, Rosetta's color. Oh, come on, Dinky. I want to look up some stuff at the library. We can share this on the way over. Machine, macrame... Oh, here we go, magic. Let's see if it has anything on magic cats. <gasps> Rosetta! But it can't be. This is ancient Egypt. 2,000 years ago. And Rosetta's sitting next to Cleopatra. A familiar is an animal, usually a cat who serves as a witch's helper. Witch's helper? But if Rosetta's a familiar, and she's my cat, and then that makes me... Come on, Diggy, we've got to get home. <laughs> Mom, Dad, have you seen Rosetta? I've got to see if it's true. Well, slow down, honey. What's wrong? <laughs> Her collar 
Oh, where is she, Dinky? Oh, oh. You better see this. It's the same collar. Rosetta. A witch cat? And that makes me a witch. Oh, now don't get upset, dear. But I just want to be me. Witches are ugly and evil. They have warts on their noses. Now, Gwen, if you are a witch, then you should be able to use magic, right? Right. Right. Let me try something. Listen to me. You've been blessed with a gift. Why, you already rescued Rosetta. It was my magic? Yes, you saved her. Now, you mustn't be frightened by your magic. Just use it wisely. I need to think. Come on, Dinky. I've just got to find Rosetta. I am sorry, my dear. It is out of our hands. But I'm certain if, if I go back, I could make Gwen understand. It was a noble effort, Rosetta. Perhaps another will succeed where you could not. Like me? Then I won't see Gwen again? I'm afraid that is up to Gwyneth. Only her magic can recall you now. Well, I guess being a witch can make the chores easier. Maybe I wouldn't be so scared if I weren't in this alone. Boy, I wish Rosetta were back. Oh, oh Rosetta! Oh. It's okay now. I know what you were trying to teach me. Will you help me to do it right? Oh, oh Dinky, I love you too. And now, this message. <laughs> Watch me trick, Fred. Hey, Fred, having your Fruity Pebbles here at Bedrock Dance Land, huh? Delicious! If you dance, you could be on TV. TV? Watch this. All right, so do the Fruity Scooty. While I get my bowl of Looty. Hmm. Fruity Rudy. Shake your hips, move your feet. Fruity Pebbles are great to eat. eat. Shake your hips. Bonnie, my pebbles. Toodle Looty. Post Fruity Pebble Cereal, part of Mr. Trisha's breakfast. Sweetie Pops, do I love the way you feel? Sweetie Pops, oh, you look so real. Sweetie Pops, fresh and beautiful. Sweetie Pops. Oh. I am gonna name you and groom you and brush you till you shine. Cause you're so soft and cuddly, your fur is so, so fine. Sweetie Pops, fresh and be beautiful. Sweetie Pops. Sweetie Pups, each sold separately from Hasbro. Dinosaurs, come on! Capture the dinosaurs! Don't drop the stop the dinosaurs! It's the dinosaur hunt! Chef Boyardee! Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs from Chef Boyardee! Tasty, wholesome pasta that's a dinosaur hunt! Cause first one to capture all three dinosaur shapes wins! Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee! Dinosaurs with meatballs. Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Break out the new equipment! Ghost trap set. Ecto goggles down. It's Marshmallow Man. Ecto bubber ready. Neutrono blaster charged. Roast them! Got him! We ain't scared enough. Go! <laughs> It's the Ghost Trap from the real Ghostbusters. New from Kenner.
that kick Help kick You're looking good when you do that kick Help kick You pour a glass of milk real tall And calcium and vitamins are rubbing it all Boom ba ba boom ba ba Come on everybody do that kick Help kick Do that kick Come on everybody do that kick America's favorite health kick milk you're looking at the best thing to come along since the Easter Bunny. Cream eggs from Cadbury. Inside this thick Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate shell is sweet, creamy filling. Cream eggs from Cadbury. The simple way to get calcium is nature's way, from dairy foods. Three servings a day can easily give an adult the 800 milligrams you need. It's that simple. Dairy calcium. Calcium the way nature intended. I'm a raisin broker. I know raisins, but I don't understand this Kellogg's raisin brand. One scoop of raisins in a package is plenty. Scoop and a half is really delicious. Scoop and three quarters will make your head spin. So when Kellogg's went to two scoops, nobody could believe it. Two scoops? I tell you, in the old days, we'd get half a scoop, we'd be dancing in the streets. Fiber Ridge Kellogg's raisin brand. Two scoops is a lot of raisins. The words on the bottom of your TV screen are captions for deaf and hard of hearing people. See how captioning can work for you. Read and watch CBS Story Break, next. enough to be on your own now. Whoa there. There. You'll be much more comfortable in a cage of your own. Who is making all that racket? What are you blubbering about? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. Well, you did. Say, you're new here, aren't you? I was born here. They just moved me from the other end. Uh, I'm a ferret. I know. There was another ferret in there before you. He was there for, oh, years. Years? Years is a long time. What happened to him? Did they let him go home? Home? This is home. It can't be. This can't be home. There must be somewhere else. Take it from me, this is all there is. Besides, it's not so bad. It's warm, you get plenty of food, and you have a nice clean cage. What more could you ask for? I want to know where I belong. Here comes the keeper. Now's my chance. I'm getting out of here. You'll be sorry. You're not going to find any place better than this. Oh, yes, I will. Brought you some work. Hey!
return after these messages. The first witch of this century was born. Her name is Gwyneth Markham. Does she, um, know? Not yet, but it is time. Rosetta, you must teach young Gwyneth her powers and guide her in using them wisely. Remember, your magic does not work beyond these walls. You must rely on Gwen. Supergirl has the ability to save millions upon millions of lives with her great superpowers. Americans have the ability to save thousands of lives, one at a time. 16,000 people die each year in car crashes that don't have to. Safety belts could save their lives. Safety belts could also prevent thousands from being horribly disfigured or crippled for life. So buckle up. Your life is in your hands. Don't worry, I have you. Mom, Mom, come here quick. Billy, I can't keep running back and... What's that? A squirrel? It's not a squirrel. It's not anything like a squirrel. It's a ferret. I know about ferrets. They're in my book. Billy, put it down. It might bite. Ferrets don't bite. All wild animals bite. Put it down. I can't. He's hurt. Can I keep him? Please. Please, Mom. He's a wild animal. But he's not. Come on. We'll take him to the animal shelter. They'll know what to do. Yes, he's a ferret, all right. They're very rare. Where'd you find him? Uh, I sort of... Well... He was in the... You know. We were walking home from the park. Billy found him in the gutter. He almost drowned. He needs somebody to take care of him. Don't worry. We'll take good care of him. Here, I'll let you put him in the hospital bed. We're supposed to put him in a cage, but I think he's too weak to try and run off anywhere. He seems to like it all right. Can I come back to see him? Of course. We have a children's group that meets here every day at three. You mean with the other kids? You could make some new friends. I'll think about it. Thank you, Miss Pickett. You're very welcome. Goodbye, Ferret. I hope you'll come back. and skinny, just like a zucchini. I think that's what I'll name him. That's a great name. I'm so glad you decided to join the group. You think the other kids will like me? Of course. You're a pretty likable person. Okay, I'll try it. Zucchini. you come to join us? Children, I'd like you to meet Billy. I was just going to show the children what you brought us yesterday. Children, this is a... Oh, like I don't want to touch that. I don't want to touch him. He's in the weasel family, but he has a special name. Billy? His name's uh, Zucchini. <laughs> Actually, he's a ferret. But I think that's a terrific name. We'll call you Zucchini. Does anyone know where ferrets come from? I do. From the prairies. I know where that is. It's in Oklahoma. I have an aunt in Oklahoma. All right, let's see how Mr. Pigeon is doing today. I brought you something. I hope you like it. You have a rest now and get your strength back. We'll see you later. All right, children. I'll see you all tomorrow. I hope you feel better tomorrow. Come on, Billy. Time to go home. 
Look at him. Why doesn't he have to be in a cage? You're just jealous. It's not fair. Hi there. My name's Zoo... Zoo... Zucchini, I heard. Mine's Arnold. Arnold the Crow. Pleased to meet you. Why aren't you in a cage? I don't like cages. Who does? It's not fair. Maybe I could help you get out. No, I don't want out. That's not the point. If I have to be in a cage, so should you. What's fair is fair. Ah, rabbits. You somebody's pet. Somebody toss you out, did they? That figures. People are like that. Look what they did to me. They threw a rock at me, broke my wing. Then these people come along and stick me in a cage. Just like humans. Well, actually, I'm trying to find my way home. Do you know where the prairies are? Uh, west, I think. Uh, that's where I come from. The prairies? New Jersey. That's west. Prairies must be on the other side. <sighs> I'm gonna get there. I have to find where I belong. W will you let me out when you go? Sure. You, you, you promise you won't forget? I promise. What's going on here? Why aren't you in a cage? That's Devlin. He's the boss here. You better not make him mad. All animals are supposed to be in cages. Ah, oh, you're in for it now. Zucchini, don't move! You're lucky I hung around. A street is no place for you. Come on, I know a place you'll like. <laughs> I wish I could keep you. But my mom won't let me. I hope you understand. Go to sleep now. Psst, Arnold! Oh, you're back. I thought you'd run off and forgotten me. Nah, I was just scared. Billy found me. He's real nice. He took me to the park and we played and I ate a hot dog. Oh, I wish I could stay with him. I thought you wanted to find your home. I do, but I just feel so good when I'm with him. Maybe I should just stay. Be careful, humans are funny. You can't trust them. Billy's different. He's a human, just like the rest. Don't count on him. People let you down. You can't trust anybody. I can trust Billy. You found him. Where was he? I found him on the corner a couple of hours ago. A couple of hours? Well, why didn't you tell us? We've been very worried. I guess I didn't think. No, you didn't. That's not very considerate, Billy. Yes, ma'am. Well, Mr. Devlin is very upset. We're going to have to put Zucchini in a cage. But I'll hate that. I don't have any choice. Huh, he's gone again. There he is. I'll get him. You shouldn't have run away. Now I'm in trouble and it's all your fault. I'm sorry. Billy, Billy, come back. I'm never coming back. Why did he do that? He put me in a cage and then ran off. I told you, you can't trust anybody. You're right. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna find my home. Remember your promise. Don't worry. You can trust me. I'll let you out. Stuffy in here. Needs some air. A person's gotta breathe. I can climb out the window. If only I can get out of this cage. Zucchini, come back, take me too. We'll return.
return after these messages. Separately, you put car together. New from Mattel. And now back to CBS Story Break. I've been looking all over for you. You had me worried. I'm sorry. Something wrong? No. Did something happen with the children at the animal shelter? No, they were okay, I guess. I got mad at Zucchini and I blamed her for something that wasn't his fault. Mm, I see. Maybe you should tell him you're sorry. Do you think I'll understand? I think so. I'll go back in the morning and tell him I'm sorry. Let's go home. there too, Terry. We'll get some film as soon as we land. to the nearest film store, and then we're off to Grandma. Oklahoma, I'm almost home. I wonder if they're taking me to the prairies. Excuse me, sir, can you tell me if we're going to the prairies? We are? We are. What, do you know or not? Why didn't you say so in the first place? Is this it? Is this the prairies? Hmm, something smells good. Now this is the life!
He didn't come back? Wow! It's beautiful! Just like I dreamed it would be. And it's all so peaceful. Hmm. I wonder where the other ferrets are. What happened? Everything was so peaceful. This can't be my home. I have to find my home. I don't think I can make it. It's too far. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Too hot. Have to rest. I need to get into the shade. From here. I've come a very long way. Is it beautiful there? And peaceful? And are there other ferrets? Yep, yep, and yep. But you look pretty tuckered out. Maybe you better rest here for a spell. Grasshopper? Oh, oh, uh, no thanks. I just ate. I just want to find where I belong. Well, you haven't got far now. About 15 miles as the crow flies. <gasps> What? What? What's wrong? I just remembered a promise I made. Oh, is that all? I thought you saw a dog or a coyote or something. I promised Arnold the Crow that I'd help him escape, and I forgot all about it. You'll manage. I wouldn't worry about him. I'm going back. To the city? Are you crazy? You just got here. You come all this way, and you're so close to home. I know, but I promised my friend, and I have to go back. Well, good luck, then. It's a long way. I hope you make it. Thanks. Goodbye. Never try and reason with a ferret. I've been thinking, Billy. How would you like to have a pet? A little dog, maybe. I don't want any other pet. You still thinking about zucchini? I hope he's all right. It's pretty dangerous out there. I mean, if you're a little ferret. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, I guess. I think I'll go for a walk. Okay. Don't be late for dinner. you were like all the rest, but you kept your promise. You came back. I don't know what to say. Thanks, Zucchini. You're a real friend. Have you seen Billy? He came by a few times and he gave up. I tried to warn you. You can't trust anybody. Well, almost anybody. Thanks, Zucchini. I hope you find your home. I hope I can find Oklahoma again. <sighs> Zucchini! You 
you came back. Don't you worry. Mama let me keep you. I'm so glad you came home. <laughs> And now this message. Who's got something brand new you never had before? Who's got the best darn burger and a whole lot more? Burger King introduces four new specialty sandwiches. The chicken is a new filet, white meat through and through. Our chopped beef steak is U.S. choice. The ham and cheese is new. A great fish sandwich, too. Who's got the best darn burger and a whole lot more? New specialty sandwiches. Burger King and Ryan. And now this message. People are always asking me, what's the secret to a long life? Well, I'll tell you. Never drink, never smoke, and never ever learn to cook. And now at Roy's, buy two pieces of chicken and a biscuit at the regular price, and you get another two pieces and a biscuit for just 50 cents. One more thing. Never wash dishes. has Wendy's hot and juicy taste. The more you nibble others, the more you'll love Wendy's. Friday starts with nothing is easy. <laughs> then... If we did have a date, would that make you feel better? What? A jealous Marine could turn the popcorn kid's dream date into a nightmare. Leo, wait! Would you say something to him? You don't scare us, Leo! <laughs> Might as well die guilty and smiling. Friday... Yesterday, the 
Spike Brothers were trying to cross the road when a big car came by and... and batch! Batch! I know. I'm going back to my big white pine tree. We'll never get across this road. gonna go batch for sure. Looks like it's gonna be a hot day today. Yeah. How are you? didn't hit the loggers. Maybe if I looked like a logger, I wouldn't get hit either. I think you've got a few quills loose myself. Oh, this is harder than it looks. if they talk to you. Then I'll talk back. Looks like it's gonna be a hot day today. How are you? Looks like it's gonna be a hot day today. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a hot day today. Looks like it's gonna be a hot day today. Looks like it's gonna be a hot day today. <laughs> Gray Street, don't cross the road. It's dangerous. We'll return after these messages. This is an arcade game. This is the new Atari Super System. Arcade? Atari Super System. You may like the Super System better. It has some of the best arcade and sports games. And plays every Atari cartridge. It even does something no arcade game can. Telephone! It's Judy! It lets you freeze the action. Hello, Judy. The new 5200 Super System. It's captivating. Exhilarating. <laughs> Jubilating. And guaranteed to lift your spirits. Walt Disney's Peter Pan. You'll never, never forget the magic. Rated G. Coming soon to a theater near you. players get ready the new atari 5200 super system is here with a controller so advanced it plays arcade graphics so real it looks arcade with arcade hits you can't play on any other system no other home video system can touch it the new atari 5200 super system it's as good as you are maybe even better next time Your toucan, Sam? Yes? Got a racket for finding fruit flavors, eh? It's no racket, it's my nose. Sure, and I'm a French poodle. Prove it. Follow my nose. It always knows. Stop! It's Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Those natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Like them, officer? Sure, and wouldn't it be a crime not to? Now back to CBS Storybreak. Hey, you! Get out of the road! 
Looks like it's gonna be a hot day today. Just be careful, you! We're lucky we didn't go bad. Luck had nothing to do with it. If you walk on two legs and wear clothes, they won't hit you. I'm sure. What do you want? Well, we had an emergency meeting to discuss the crisis. What crisis? We're all going batch, batch. I'm sorry to have to tell you, you and your brother Gray Street got batch trying to cross the road yesterday. Oh, he should have worn a hat. You should all wear hats, big red hats, and shirts, and you should walk upright. We've tried. You're the only one who can. You have to help us. Oh, very well. I'll go see Mr. McTosh. Maybe he'll know what to do. Well, uh, are you sure you can't learn to walk upright and wear... Quite sure. Pity. Like it's gonna be a hot day today. Darn fool. Morning. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a hot day today. Maybe. Want some stamps? Gracious! I see. Wondered why you never got any mail. What's your name? I don't have a name. Uh, the drivers call me. Hey, you! Get out of the road! I live in the big white pine tree by the road, you see. Well, then, we'll call you Hugh Pine for short. What can I do for you, Hugh? Porcupines are getting patched. We cross the road like this. <clears throat> the cars go like this. <clears throat> and sometimes this happens. Bad problem, all right. Forgetting my manners. Coffee? Ugh, ugh. I make it a mite strong. Care for a boot instead? Mm. Mm. The other porcupines are too stupid to wear hats and shirts. I'm smarter than them, but I'm still just an animal. I need your help. Got an idea. Ask the porcupines what part of the woods they like best. I'll have a fence built around it. I will. Mm. Uh, thank you for the snack. Tell me when they've made up their minds. They 
want to live between the pond, the brook, the bay, and the highway. Ah, it's too big. Way too big. Can't build a fence long enough to go around it. Oh, dear. Wait. Said I'd build a fence, and I will. A short fence, maybe half a mile on each side. Look. It ain't very big, but then neither are porcupines. And they'll be safe from the cars? Absolutely. Well, it's so small. It's not at all what we wanted. Stop complaining. It's either this or back to batch, batch. This area is where you'll live, and I don't want to hear any more about it. Don't come complaining around my big white pine again. What do you want? Will you be living on that land, too? No, I'll stay here. I'll be safe. I'll be just fine here. You see, Hugh, none of your friends will be able to climb over the fence. Now my friends will be safe. Glad I could help you, Hugh. There. I hope you're all happy now. This is just what we needed. saved us before, and look what happened. I'll find him. He'll know what to do. After these messages. Carlton Fisk calls all my pitches. Even this one for these washable, durable White Sox placemats. From your hometown Pizza Hut restaurant. Oh, yeah. Just order any Pizza Hut pizza and get a set of two White Sox placemats for just 89 cents. There are four White Sox placemats in all, and they're available only at your hometown Pizza Hut restaurants. Hey, what's that? Fork ball. Fork ball? I don't even have a fork ball. <laughs> Where'd you learn to catch? Look who's back. All your friends from the land before time are available on video cassette. And now Pizza Hut has a special offer for you and your family. When you enjoy your favorite pizza from Pizza Hut, you can get one of two new Land Before Time dinosaur puppets. Spunky Little Petri for 99 cents. Or Mighty Sharp Tooth for $1.49. 
Supplies are limited, but you can get yours from Pizza Hut before they become extinct. Make it extinct. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. Wherever I go, he goes. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy and me. Kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, kid sister. Wherever I go, you're gonna go. Kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, kid sister, kid sister and me. My buddy and kid sister, each sold separately from Play School. Now back to CBS Story Break. Something has to be done. I'll go talk to Mr. McTosh again. You go back to the others and tell them to wait. like it's gonna be a hot day today. Oh, it's you, Hugh. Come on in. What can I do for you, Hugh? Well, Mr. McTosh, it's like this. Hadn't thought of that. Well, they can't stay where they are. But if they leave, it'll be batch, batch, all over again. I need to give this some thought. But it's getting dark, Hugh. Give you a ride back to your tree? Why did you stop at that funny-shaped tree? Not a tree, it's a sign. Told me to stop so as I wouldn't run over those young'uns. Got to obey the signs, it's the law. What if we have a sign for cars to stop for porcupines? Good idea. Good, then let's put up a sign. It ain't that easy, Hugh. Can't just go putting up a sign. Gotta get permission. Means I gotta go to the county seat. Then let's go. Come on. Gotta find the courthouse. Like to buy some flowers? Love some. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Much obliged. My friend was real hungry. Gotta be careful here, you. Folks hereabouts won't understand. People don't eat flowers? Not usually. Too bad. Flowers are very tasty. Remember, you do as I say. City people get real excitable over things like porcupines in the courthouse. Excuse me, ma'am. Need to talk to someone about putting up a road sign. You want the road sign to pop and that's down the hall. Put a sign on the turnpike that says no exit. Uh, put a sign on the main street that says slow down. Uh, uh, um. Yes, yes, what is it? Uh, speak up, I'm a busy man. 
like permission to put up a road sign. Permissions? I don't grant permissions, I just put up signs. You want the Department of Permissions. That's on the fourth floor, room 101. Good day. Yep, does look like it's gonna be up. You the one that grants permission to put up the signs? Yeah, but you'd better have a good reason. Oh, we have a good reason. A very good reason. Bitch! Bitch! What? We want to put up signs for a porcupine crossing. My people are starving. You are people? I don't understand. What do porcupines have to do with it? Uh, well, he's real fond of porcupines. Not good enough at all. You expect the county to spend the money to put up signs just because your friend likes porcupines? Ridiculous. Shoo, go away. I have important papers to sign. Does batch batch mean nothing to you? Come on, Hugh. Oh, we're getting nowhere. I'm going back to being a porcupine. Hugh, Hugh, not here, huh? Someone will see you. Oh, I don't care. I'm going back to the woods. It's a porcupine! Question to a vote. All in favor, please rise. Good, then it's unanimous. My goodness, it's a porcupine. You, wait, a porcupine. I guess I've caused a lot of trouble, haven't I? Pierre, so. But maybe we can do something about it. Well, what could we do? Apologize, for starters. Then think of another plan. If you say so, Mr. Matash. My files, my paperwork, that porcupine ruined them all. Excuse me. We'd like to apologize for... You two again, don't talk to me about porcupines. I don't want to hear anything about porcupines. Here, here's your permission for your sign. Now go away and don't you ever mention porcupines to me again. Thank you. We won't. <laughs> Just pretending to be a human is very hard. To really be one must be nearly impossible. Ugh, this doesn't smell good at all. Wasn't meant to smell good, was meant to paint good. Yeah, something to tide you over. It looks like you put my shadow on the sign. One way to put it, I guess. Let's go let your friends out. You can all come out now. I'll show you a safe place to cross the road. I knew you would help us. Thank you, Mr. Matash. Now I can go back to my big white pine tree and have a nice long nap. Yeah, and I can go back to my post office and sell stamps. Drop by any time, Hugh. I will. Goodbye. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna be a hot day today. Sure.
return after these messages. At last, what you've never seen, never heard, never felt in a video game. Star Master for the Atari Video Computer System. Chart and challenge. Warp, but wait. Fight and fight again. Retreat to refuel. Battle and be blasted right out of your senses. Star Master by Activision. Introducing the new talking oh, oh. cereal. No, uh, how's this? No, 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 What no. are you guys talking about? The sound marshmallows make in our new marshmallow crispy cereal. You can't go snap, crackle, pop. Marshmallow. Kellogg's Marshmallow Krispies is part of this complete breakfast. Do you like them? That's the sound. Mm. It's time to put snap, crackle, pop. Now back to CBS Storybreak. Soda Shop, Cool Times Barbie doll, and other dolls each sold separately. You put Soda Shop together. Careful, kids, we're in soggy water. And the soggies could get your crunchy sweet cereal. <laughs> yeah! Quick, the box. And their plans are shot. Yum. It all happened so rapidly. Kevin Crunch is part of a balanced <laughs> breakfast. Now, in Kevin Crunch, wheel rattlers. There are four you can collect. There's one with me. There's soggy. I'm a crunch and they're loud. One wheel rattle in each specially marked box of Kevin Crunch cereal. and Colonials for the penny. I don't have time to argue with you, Rodney. I'm due in the office for a special staff meeting. And I want to make sure you've had a good breakfast before I go. Not another Insta meal. Yeah, maybe I'll just have coffee. I'm not hungry. Can I go now? No, Rodney. Finish your breakfast. Caller identified as Ralph's Robots Interplanetary. Two-way visual communication is requested. Ralph's Robots Interplanetary? Oh, Lara, I forgot to tell you. I ran an ad for a robot in the video news. A robot? A used robot, that is. We've been so busy, I figured we could use some help with the housework around here. Are we going to get a robot? Maybe. I'm just checking into it. But, Arthur... 
the budget. Mrs. Pentax, Ralph here. Delighted to show you a few models from our domestic line. Well... What have you got to offer? Oh, boy! This is my top-of-the-line model, the Butler ZX. A meticulous housekeeper, a gourmet chef, and his programming includes advanced child psychology and nuclear medicine. He's impressive, but... All we need is a robot that can do basic housekeeping and provide some companionship for our son. No problem, Mr. Pentax. I have just a thing for you. Meet the nanny. In addition to your needs, she has an extensive repertoire of games and songs for the very young. Oh, not that one, please. She's a steal at 45,000 credits, folks. Thank you for calling, but our ad was for a used robot. Wait, Mrs. Pentax! A steal at 45,000 credits? That's outrageous! I'll get it. We're a busy family, honey, and we're all tired of Insta meals. And Rodney is alone too much. Maybe a used robot won't stretch the budget too far. It's a robot! Uh, is uh, this the Pentax residence? I'm Mr. Pentax. What can I do for you? Well, I've come in response to your ad for a robot, sir. Um, uh, please come in. Uh... I'm Combined Level Unit Type Z, better known by my acronym, CLUTS. We'll return after these messages. Hit it, Sammy boy! A one, a tap, a turn! Woo! In a bit of a tango? You said it! It's hard to keep in step with no breakfast. What do you seek? Fruit Loops! Yeah! That would put me back on my feet! Then follow my snoot! We'll shuffle off for flavors of fruit! Ah, smell that Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal! Natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors! Part of this complete breakfast! Hey! Fruit Loops are a kick! Wanna hit it again? Oh, yeah! Give me tap! Hey! Oopsie Daisy is learning to crawl, she's such a pretty baby. She crawls to me as nice as can be. Oopsie Daisy. This is Oopsie Daisy. She's just learning to crawl. When you fall down, just pick yourself up. Don't cry, my darling baby. Now crawl to me as quick as can be. Oopsie Daisy. Oopsie Daisy loves to crawl, but when she falls, she gets right back up again. Oopsie Daisy. Oopsie Daisy, new from Tyco. Batteries not included. <laughs> How very clumsy of me to have fallen over your doorstep that way. <gasps> oh, you weigh a ton. I don't weigh a milligram over three quarters of a ton, including hydraulic fluid, sir. <laughs> My shiros will stabilize in a moment. What's going on in here? This is Cush, Mom. He saw the ad and he wants a job. I've never heard of a robot looking for a job. Don't you belong to somebody? I no longer have a home. I was replaced by a butler ZX. He's Mr. Perfect. This morning I was told to dump myself in the trash along with the breakfast dishes. That's terrible. I was on my way to the trash chute when I saw your ad. I decided to come here and ask you to let me serve you. Can I stay, Mom? Dad? Please? Mm, he's a little beat up, but he seems sincere. Please let him stay. He's got nowhere else to go. I like Klutz. He's friendly, and I'll bet he can cook and clean, and he won't cost anything. You can't beat that, right, Mom? It can't hurt to try him out for a week or so. Okay, he stays. But on a trial basis only. Yippee! You're staying! I'm so pleased that I can be useful again. Come on! I want my friends to meet you. Not so fast. The housework has to be done before you go out to play. Oh, Mom. You heard your mother, Rodney. I expect this living unit to be spotless when I get home, Klutz. It will be, madam. You have my promise. I'll be in the study. Son, I'm making it your responsibility to show Klutz what to do. We'll be here all day cleaning. Don't worry, Rodney. These chores are a mere morning's work for me. Wow, having my own robot is going to be great. I will now clean the leisure room. 
First, the vacuuming. When we finish, we'll go down to the sports level for a game of moonball. Oh, uh, Rodney, I hate to disappoint you, but I'm afraid my programming doesn't include moonball. Oh, but I'll give it a try. You know, Clutch, I didn't think robots could be so much like people. Why, thank you, Rodney. You know, when Type Z's were introduced about 50 years ago, most people were afraid of robots. So we were programmed with positive human emotions to make us likable. Clutch! Watch what you're doing! Hmm, something appears to be stuck. Ah, yes, I see it. I'll just reverse the suction. No! That should clear it. Rodney, help! What's all the noise? This room is a mess. If your mother sees this, she'll be furious. We'll clean it up before she gets home. Oh, Eclipse. Maybe I'll clean up the mess in here while you make lunch, Clutch. A splendid plan, Rodney. You do know how to make lunch, don't you? Of course. People have always loved my cooking. Great. Dad loves home cooking. <laughs> Hmm, insta this, insta that. Don't they have any real food around here? I'll start by doing some marketing. I can have everything turbo delivered. Arthur! Rodney! Hello! Mrs. Pentax! Mom, you're early! I wanted to see how you two were doing, so I decided to come home for lunch. Clutch just fixed me a great lunch, and the housework is all finished. So Dad said we could go out and play some moon ball. See you later. Arthur! In the kitchen! It looks like they've got everything done. Mmm, this is delicious. I haven't had homemade chili like this in years. Here, try some. Let's bake some cookies, too. Mmm, mmm, it's good. This must be the grocery bill. <gasps> he... he spent... look at this! That much for chili? What the... he made enough to feed an army! Don't worry, Clutch. Moon ball is easy. You'll get the hang of it in no time. The idea is to get the moon ball away from the other team and put it through the moon ring for a goal. Yes, but I... The gravity on the court is adjusted to moon gravity. It'll be just like floating in space. Rodney, is that your robot? Yep, his name is Clutch. Can he do your homework? I think he's supersonic. These are my friends Johnny, Dano, and Tyler. I'm delighted to know you all. I'm going to teach Clutch to play moon ball. Hey, Rodney. Where'd you get the antique? I haven't seen that much old metal since the last space salvage mission. You should have been retired from service long ago, Type. <laughs> ZX, you impertinent upstart! Clutch is a great robot. He can do anything your robot can do, Rocket Mouth. Oh yeah? Can he play Moonball? Clutch can play circles around your butler, ZX, any day of the week, Taurus Johnson. Rodney? Then how about today? Me and Angus and ZX are challenging you and your robot to a game of Moonball, Rodney. You're on. At your age, one mustn't overdo it. At my age, why you? Come on, Rodney. Hang on, Rodney, I'm coming. Admit it, the best robot won, Rodney. We know a good scrap dealer if you ever want to get rid of that thing. 
I'm sorry I let you down, Rodney. It was dumb of me to let myself be suckered by a quirk like Taurus Johnson in the first place. When's the rematch? I don't even want to think about it. I made a real fool out of myself, didn't I? You tried your hardest. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Rodney. If it makes you happy, I'll, I'll practice day and night to become the best robot moonball player in the universe. Ooh. That was a very good chili dinner, Klutz. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, there's enough for weeks. I love it. Rodney, you better start your homework. Oh, gee, Mom. I'll do it later. Klutz can help me, and it'll go faster. Well, you can stay for the nightly news minutes. Oh, no, not again. What's wrong? The remote control on my floater lounge isn't working again. I'll call the repair service tomorrow. Let's go, Klutz. Looks like no TV tonight. Hmm. Good morning, Rodney. I'm just about finished here. Klutz, what have you done to the entertainment console? I'm fixing it. But you're not a technician. But who knows more about one machine than another machine? Rodney, what's going on out there? You're taking an awful chance. Shouldn't you be fixing breakfast? Oh, I forgot. The console is broken. Why don't you try the remote control on the floater lounge? It works. Cuts fixed it. He did a good job. Oh, something's wrong with the photo lounge. I can't turn it off. Turn after these messages. I know I should drink milk because it'll help me grow up big and strong. Milk's got stuff that's good for my bones and stuff that's good for my muscles. And I guess that's okay, but I'm more interested in having fun. That's what makes milk so neat. You can drink a lot of it and it tastes cool, so it can be a real pick me up. Milk! It does the body good! Big game today, Tony. We're ready, but let's start with a complete breakfast, including my Frosted Flakes. They bring out the tiger in you! Hey, kid, good luck! Frosted Flakes good. They're great! Bring out the tiger, you know what to do! Tony's Frosted Flakes have got the taste. The brings out the tiger in you. You can get a first reply Ooh. and amaze your friends. Wow. Your virtuosity works your what? Even with friends as dumb as mine. <laughs> <laughs> One free frosted flakes. Getting in the drugs and being high is a stupid thing to do. Be an original and take a stand. You're free to say no. To let a friend push you in. To take a of a runaway float around. There he is! I see him, Mom! Oh, dear! Just a little closer. I'm fine, thanks to the Sky Police. Oh, Arthur, we were so frightened. I don't understand it. 
The thing just went berserk. Hmm, perhaps when I repaired the console... Cuts, be quiet. A minor adjustment should solve the problem. Never mind. I know how to solve it. I'm glad you do, Mr. Pentax, because you'll have to explain it to the judge. Hmm? There was an accident. Hmm, if I switch the trilithium diodes... I could have been killed, and it's all the fault of that crazy robot. What if he hurts Rodney? Tomorrow, he goes into the junk heap. No! The junk heap. Tomorrow. The junk heap. Tomorrow. I've caused you a lot of trouble, Rodney. You'll be better off without me. To whom it may concern, I'm afraid my days of serving humans are over. For Rodney's sake, I'm going to finish what I started a few days ago. he left on the computer, I don't think he's coming back. It's for the best, Rodney. Your mother and I were beginning to worry about your safety. Cuts would never hurt me. Didn't really belong to us anyway. But he had nowhere else to go. Klutz must have overheard us talking about how we were going to junk him. What are you doing? I'm calling Ralph's Robots. I don't care how much it costs, we're getting a Butler ZX. A good idea. It'll make Rodney forget all about Klutz. Hello? Ralph? This is Lyra Pentex. The waste destruction facility is fully automated. No humans are allowed beyond this point. Where did he come from? He was delivered late last night. You were asleep, and we thought we'd surprise you. What's that awful smell? It was necessary to disinfect this room. Germs are harmful to humans. Sit down, Rodney. The ZX made breakfast for us. I'm not hungry. Hey, what is this? It is breakfast. I have prepared a vitamin-enriched Instamush from a special recipe. Yuck! It's terrible! I just want coffee. Coffee is not a nourishing breakfast. I will prepare a protein insta drink for you. But I want coffee. When you get home from school, you can play Moonball with a robot. If I can't play with Clutch, I don't ever want to play Moonball again. He'll get over it. I hope. <laughs> Somebody. Oh. I need help to look for him. You want to report a missing person? Well, he's not really a person. I've got to find Clips, my robot. If it's just a robot, I can't help you. Everybody thinks he's just a robot. He's not just a robot. He's... I was on my way to the trash chute when I saw your ad for a robot. He's got nowhere else to go. Hey, come back.
Warning. The subsector waste destruction facility is fully automated. No humans are allowed beyond this point. Safety! You're coming with me. Your parents don't want me back, Rodney. I'm a danger to you. But you saved my life. And what's more important, you're my friend. I'm not going back without you. Rodney didn't report to school this morning, and he's been gone all day, Officer Murphy. When I saw him, he just ran off and left his notebook behind. What's all that noise that you're in? I can barely hear you. I'm sorry. It's our ZX robot. He's... he's a cleaning freak. Will you cut that out? Dust is harmful to humans. Germs live in dust. I must eliminate all dust from this living unit. I will answer the door. It is a small humanoid and a piece of junk. It's Rodney, and he's got Klutz with him. Rodney, we were worried sick. Where have you been? I went to look for Klutz. I just had to find him. They must be decontaminated before entering the living unit. That does it. You're fired. I hate what you call cooking, and I'm tired of seeing you chase after dust balls all the time. Take yourself back to Ralph's Robots right now. I will comply. However, I must warn you, you are living in a contaminated environment. I guess getting a robot was a bad idea. But Clutch is different. Give him another chance, please. Well, he tries hard. And he does make good chili. Whoopee! Come on, Clutch! <laughs> Maybe he needs glasses. It's good to be home, Rodney. And now this message. I've chased them all. The hot rods, the speedy foreign jobs. Now these all-new high-powered 4x4s. How can anything this small go this fast? 32 new souped-up turbo tricksters. Pop in a penny, and they do amazing wheelies and stunts. Turn them loose, and there's no stopping them. And with the new super stunt sets, their speedsters do incredible loops and split-second crossovers. Close call. They ought to be arrested. Yeah. Double loop and double cross stunt sets sold separately. You put them together. Turbo tricksters from Tonka. Lifesavers candy. Isn't life delicious? Gram snacks exploding with taste. Introducing Dressing Pretty, three sets of dress-up clothes. You can pretend you're a fashion model or imagine you're a ballerina. Dressing Pretty, I'm Dressing Pretty. Look at me. Dressing Pretty lets me be all the me I dream of be. Look at me, it's my wedding day. A beautiful bride in every way. Dressing Pretty. Dressing 
pretty fashion model comes with everything here. Bride and ballerina sold separately. Kill it, Sammy boy. One, a tap, a turn. Woohoo! In a bit of a tango? You said it. It's hard to keep in step with no breakfast. What do you seek? Fruit Loops. Yeah, that would put me back on my feet. Then follow my flute. We'll shuffle off for flavors of fruit. Ah, smell that Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors. Part of this complete breakfast. Hey, Fruit Loops are a kick. Wanna hit it again? Oh, yeah. Give me that. Here come Pocket Rockers, Tiny Tapes, Tiny Players. Down on the corner, out in the street, Pocket Rockers are playing, where the music feels the beat. Pocket Rockers, play them here, wear them anywhere. Down on the corner, out in the street, Pocket Rockers are playing, where the music feels the beat. Tiny Players, Tiny Tapes, Pocket Rockers, tapes and accessories sold separately, batteries not included, from Fisher Price. If you can see it, I'm looking for a beautiful wife, not a pretty servant. May I help you carry your heavy burden? No, thank you. I'm quite strong. Going to the festival? Perhaps. Perhaps then I'll see you there. Perhaps. I'll see you at the festival. <laughs> I look forward to the festival. All the beauties will be there, and I will pick the prettiest to be my wife. Yishen was flirting with them. Shocking. Disgusting. What did I do to deserve a stepdaughter like that? You can't let Yishen go to the festival. I can't handle that kind of competition. <laughs> Yishen, you worthless orphan. What is it, stepmother? We saw you out there shamelessly flirting. It was a sorry day when I took you in. She should be punished. Good idea, my dear, sweet, unmarried daughter. Since you were too busy to work, here's all the breakfast you deserve. Now go, do the wash. Hello, Gold Eyes. I saved some rice for you. Have you had your share? Yes. I'm a lucky fish to have a friend like you. And I'm lucky to have you for a friend. My only friend. At the festival, you meet a very special friend. The festival is what I dream about most. Dancing, meeting someone who will love me. And will take you away from that miserable stepmother. Yes, that too. You deserve a much better life. Someday you'll have it, I promise you. Now, let's do the wash. Shen is a talking fish. My poor daughter. How will you ever get a husband if you believe in talking fish? But it's true, it's true. Come see for yourself. This is an extraordinary fish. But do we need to talk to a fish? Yes. No, we don't. What could a fish tell us? The water is wet? No. So, do we need a fish to do our wash? Yes. No, we don't. Yeshen does our wash. However, do we need a fish to provide food? No, 
Yes, we do. Thank you for helping me. Bye-bye. I'll wait for your return. Perhaps you need an owl to help you hang the wash. We need more firewood. Go to the forest, the far side of the forest, and gather some. But it will take me all day to go to the far side. I want the wood from the far side. Burns longer. You can run both ways. But before you go, take off your filthy coat. My coat is clean, stepmother. I won't have the neighbor seeing you in anything so filthy. It should have been in the wash. Off with it. Back so soon, Yishin. Seems you can talk. Perhaps you can tell me the best way to cook you. We'll return after these messages. What's Maxie doing now? Wow, she's surf watching. Maxie, Maxie loves surf watching, loves surf watching in her lifeguard chair. I love Maxie's surf watch playset. So much to do. Maxie, Maxie loves surf watching, catching the sunlight in her beautiful Maxie hair. Maxie loves beach barbecues. Whoa, Maxie, Maxie loves surf watching. Maxi Surfwatch playset comes with everything you see here. Maxi and Rob Dolls sold separately. What's new, cool stuff? My new invention, Wendy, the Colossal Caves Meal Perfect Packer. Look at it go! Then I can make it go faster! Whoa! Wendy, help! <laughs> Sticking around, my stuff? <laughs> Now inside each Wendy's Kids Meal, one of Play-Doh's Fingle Finger Puppets. You can make them yourself and watch them glow in the dark. Play-Doh Halloween Fingles. You can collect all six at Wendy's. was so far away. Stack the wood. You make the best dinner we ever had. It was a fish dinner. You should have been the one to cook it. You bought a fish? I caught a fish. In the pond? A fat fish with golden eyes. And it kept calling your name. Yeshen, Yeshen, tell them to use more. We saved the best part for you! <gasps> Gold eyes? Gold eyes? I'm sorry for what happened to you, Gold Eyes. It's my fault. It's not your fault, Yeshen. It was my fate. Who said that? I did. It's me, Gold Eyes. I'm just bones now, but magical bones. You've been such a good friend. I want to return your kindness. I must, or I cannot journey to the pond of my forefathers. Oh, there's so much food. Shouldn't I share it with my stepmother and stepsister? Did they share me with you? No. This gift is from me to you. Too slow. Too slow. No supper for you tonight. Oh, gold eyes. I'm tired and I've had no supper. Ask me for something more. This is all I need. Are you fattening up another fish for us, Yeshen? Oh, my feet are so muddy! Don't you know how to do wash, stupid girl? No supper for you! It isn't fair for them. 
them to treat you this way. I know, but I was an orphan. They gave me a home. You give them more than they give you. Let me do things for you. Ask for the laundry to be done, the fruit to be picked, the gardening, the scrubbing, and they will be done. But I don't mind doing those things, for now, because I hope to find my true love at the festival. If that is your destiny. Gorgeous! Gorgeous! You'll be the most beautiful unmarried maiden at the festival! Oh, Mother! Will I really be the most beautiful girl there? Providing no other girls come. Ye Shen, do you think I'll find a husband there? Yes. There'll be music and dancing. The young men will be looking carefully at the young women, selecting brides. And one of the men, perhaps the handsomest one, will ask you to be his bride. I'll be with you and help you all I can. Did anyone say you were going to the festival? You promised I could go. It's all I had to look forward to. I promise you that every year. And I keep my promise you will go to the festival. Oh, thank you. Next year, or the year after, or the year after that. Isn't that nice of me? Very decent of you, Mother. <laughs> And don't you budge out of this cave, or you'll get the beating of your life, understand? Yes, stepmother. Let me hear positive thinking. I will find a husband. I will be a bride. I will find a husband. I will be a bride. Oh, dear friend, I know now I'll never go to the festival. All your dreams will come true. You must go. I will take you. Where are you? Smile! 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 If I smile any harder, my face will hurt! Let it hurt! Oh, oh! The handsomest one is going to look at you! You're supposed to charm him, not scare him. Uh, let's try the not handsome but rich crowd. That's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Who is she? I don't know. I'll ask her. How can you ignore this fine example of, of, of... They're the prize winner. She'll get the handsomest, richest husband. She'll make her mother a very happy woman. Why can't you look like that? Because I was born to you. Ow! Hmm, she looks familiar to me. She is familiar, like a queen, a princess. Must be a member of the royal family. Look at her gold slippers. They're priceless. Where have you come from? From a place so distant, it could be right under your nose. May I ask your name? It is the same as that of a long-departed ancestor. May I know the name of that honored ancestor? You would have to ask her. <laughs> <laughs> may I presume that you are a non-married person? You may presume that, but the day is young. You are the most beautiful creature on Earth. Perhaps, if you were to dance with me, we might help the day age gracefully. She's probably got nothing to do all day but take dancing lessons and be waited on by servants. I hate to say this. Doesn't she bear the smallest resemblance to our own Ye Shen? Preposterous. <laughs> but I do see the resemblance. Let me take a closer look. Now what? Close your eyes and don't open them until I tell you. Feast your eyes on this! Where is she? 
Gone. Something is strange. Could you look after my precious unmarried daughter till I return? The other slipper. I must find the other slipper. I've lost it. I've lost it. Gold Eyes, tell me, please, where is the other slipper? Oh, Gold Eyes, now I've lost you. We'll return after these messages. It seems like only yesterday when my fluffy puppies came to stay. Introducing fluffy puppies. Oh, they call it fluffy love. They were just babies and needed such care. I took them with me everywhere. Oh, they call it fluffy love. They'd follow everywhere I led and listen to every word I said. But I never could get in the chase of sticks. Guess you can't teach a new dog that old trick. Fluffy love. Each sold separately. Fluffy puppies. New from Kenner. Introducing Newton's Fist Pounder. Have Thunder Tank and lion -O finally met their match. Fire! Ah! Crush them! You've met your match! Thunder, Thunder Tank, Fist Pounder. Who will survive? Mutant Fist Pounder. Thunder Tank and figures sold separately from LJN. Get ready to ride the giant. Start with 16 wheels of pure climbing power. Add grip jaw and turbojet and watch it climb. The vertical climbing system that goes straight to the top. The giant grip jaw and turbojet sold as a system or separately. Batteries not included. Another power machine from Galoob. And now back to CBS Storybrake. Yeah, Shen, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be working back at the cave. I... I just wanted to see the festival from a distance. You've seen enough. Go home now. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Most splendid, most unusual. Is there a mate to this? I searched the forest, but did not find another. I'll buy it. It'll be a gift to a lady, to a king. Oh, you're great and wise for your years, Highness. I bring a most remarkable gift, the likes of which have never been seen. Thank you, loyal merchant. It is truly remarkable. Who made this slipper? I do not know, Excellency. It was found in the forest. This slipper is so marvelous, I am convinced it was made for a woman of great beauty and wealth. I will find this woman. searched everywhere, but I can't find it. Please tell me what to do. Yeah, Shen! Who are you talking to? No one, stepmother. I've always known something was wrong with you. Go to sleep. I want you to scrub this cave spotless in the morning. Excuse me. I'm looking for a golden slipper. Do you know if anyone has found such a thing? Everyone wants the golden slipper. He found it. Excuse me, I'm told you found a golden slipper. Yes, I did, in the forest. May I see it? I sold it to the merchant. Sir, I am told you have a golden slipper. Yes, a most beautiful item. What is your interest in it? May I buy it from you? <laughs> That's not only funny, but impossible. You see, I gave it as a gift to the king. Then I must acquire it from the king. <laughs> The 
king is so entranced by it, he'll never give it up. In fact, he'd give anything to find the young woman whose foot fits it. All females in the kingdom are flocking to the palace to try it on. Why not join them? Thank you, sir. I shall. Look at this one in rags. Shall I throw her out, Captain? No, the sight of her trying on the slipper might amuse the king. Yes, that's it. Your Highness, I recognize that slipper. To whom does it belong? To the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Tell me her name. I don't know it. She ran off before I could find out. But she captured my heart. I've only seen her slipper, but she captured my heart, too. Where did you see her? At the village festival. I thought she was clearly of royal lineage. Then we must go there. Captain, no more try-ons. Come with me. That's all. You may leave. Stop! Get her! No! No! The slipper belongs to my friend. I have to return it to him. To him? Am I to believe a man has a foot so tiny and dainty? My friend is a fish. Your friend is a fish? Then your fish has a crazy friend. Throw her into a dungeon! No! No! You must listen to me! A girl in rags tried to steal the slipper. Said the slipper belonged to her fish. I had her thrown in a dungeon. Hmm. The slipper design is very much like the scales of a fish. Poor girl. Have her released in the morning. By order of the king, you are freed. Get out and stay away from the golden slipper. My people! This beautiful and valuable slipper has been lost by someone. Will the owner please come forward? Your Supreme Highness, my daughter lost her slipper at this very place on her way home from a lute lesson. Put your foot in it, honey. <laughs> it, it always was a little snug. Next. I'm next. No, you're not. But, uh... Out! I believe we might have frightened off the rightful owner by our presence. Let's leave the slipper here, hide nearby, and see what happens. That's the same girl who tried to steal it yesterday. I'll have her thrown into prison forever. No, wait! She's stealing it. Now I'll get her. No! Perhaps she's taking it for her mistress. Let's just follow her, see what she does. Yes, Your Highness. She will be surrounded at all times. Aha! She's hiding in the cave. Shall we arrest her? No, wait! Not yet! My friend, the precious golden slippers are together again. Now you can return to the pond of your forefathers. Mother, look what she has! You've stolen the king's slipper, you little thief! No, please, don't take them! Oh, a matching pair! Our fortune is made! This is our ticket out of the cave! Please, the slippers must be together so Gold Eyes can go to the pond of his forefathers. I have a better idea. I'll take both slippers and sell them to the king for a handsome price. It's wrong for you to have them. You little nothing orphan! Stop! The king! And the handsomest one! We caught the thief, your highness. I will punish her for the rest of her life. Who are you? The worst stepdaughter a stepmother could be cursed with. What is your name? Ye Shen. Ye Shen. What are these slippers to you? They are my friend, my poor dead fish, Gold Eyes. That's it. She has to be put away. 
Please explain. Gold Eyes changed his bones into magic slippers so I could go to the festival. But I feared I'd be found out, so I ran away and lost one slipper. The slippers must be placed together or my friend is doomed never to join his forefathers. Then do so. But first, place them on your feet. the one I danced with. Thank you, Haitian. Now I can go. Your dreams are about to come true. Farewell, my friend. He was a good eating fish. I'll say that for him. Well, Yeshen, take off the slippers and the rest of it. I'm your guardian. They belong to me. No! Yeshen is a free person. Your friend, the mystical fish, has brought me into your life for a reason. I would be honored if you would be my queen. If I am destined to be your queen, then I am happy beyond belief. I will do everything to fulfill your trust and love. Isn't it wonderful? I certainly brought her up right. We'll come visit you at the palace, Yeshen, my dear! And now this message. Specially marked boxes of Cocoa Puffs, you can get Rinky Dinks Jawbreakers. Hey, who's he calling Rinky Dinks? We may be tiny, but we're packed with big, fruity flavor. And faces you can't resist. Rinky Dinks inside Cocoa Puffs. Wouldn't it be great if your best friends could stay over every night? Well, now they can with the first skins created by Xavier Roberts. There's all kinds of different, adorable, huggable friends. Thistle? Like Baby Thistle. Oh. First skins have their own colorful clothes, so you can dress them up and take them anywhere. Let's go get some breakfast, but you got Got a pencil and paper? Jem's got an offer for you that's truly outrageous. Now you can get a free music cassette featuring Jem's newest, hottest single, Glitter in Gold. Plus two more fantastic songs. And that's not all. Got that pencil and paper? Okay. Call 1-900-976-1234 by Saturday, November 29th and talk to Jem. And she'll tell you how to get your free cassette plus savings of up to $22 on Jem dolls and play sets. There's a $1 handling charge. Offer expires soon. Call now. Jem! Yeah. I'm 
Bob Keeshan, and welcome to CBS Story Break. Usually all is quiet for the possum family who live in the swamp, but that was before somebody gave little Miles a saxophone. Now Mama says that saxophone has got to go, so Miles decides to go right along with it. But on the road to fame and fortune, Miles runs into some dangerous detours. Based on Thatcher Hurd's book, here is Mama Don't Allow. what we've been wondering. He doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. We're trying to raise him the best we could. Don't worry, Mama, because you done good. You never know what a boy is gonna be. He's a nameless possum, like a fly that just won't blossom. And he takes after your own side of the family. No, yo. No, yo. No, yo. I'm a nameless possum, and my apprehensions are awesome, and I really do not know what I want. Miles, didn't you hear me say, Uncle Waylon has brought you a present? A present? Maybe this will give you a notion of where your talents lie. Wow, look at this! A saxophone! <laughs> Gee, Waylon, thanks. Yeah, thanks, Uncle Waylon. I'm going to practice every day. Every day? Oh, wonderful. I never liked your brother, Waylon. My brother? I thought he was your brother. Son, but you must know your saxophone has got to go. Mama don't allow no music playing around here. Uh uh. My mama don't allow no music playing around here. No way. Now I don't care what mama don't allow. I'm gonna play my music anyhow. Mama don't allow. After these messages. Are you ready? Because once you bite into a Three Musketeers bar, there's no turning back. It's so light it 
uplifts you to deliver the chocolate taste with a scent whipped like a chocolate cloud and coated in velvet smooth chocolate. Go on, lighten up with three musketeers and let your spirit soar. Locket by Baby, each sold separately from Galoo. Brace yourself <laughs> for the daily adventures of the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, weekday mornings at 8.30 on Channel 2. Now, slithering out from the depths of Snake Mountain, the Snake Men, the lowest form of evil. Ratlor's evil head strikes. Tongue Lashor, whose evil tongue lashes. Snakes, I'm ready for him. But is He-Man ready for their King Hiss? When his skin comes off, his evil comes out. King Hiss, Tongue Lashor, and Rattler, new from the Masters of the Universe, each sold separately from Mattel. Are you ready for the Snake Men? And now back to CBS Storybrain. Oh, this music is making you grow so well, my children. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Now, boy, you stop that. Well, it's a free country. Folks got a right to play music if they please. <laughs> Except that kind. Son, either you cease and desist that there alleged music or I'll run you in on a 601. A 601? What's a 601? <clears throat> yeah, 601, a 601, 601. Oh, yeah, here it is. There you go, a 601. Playing an unlicensed saxophone or any musical instrument so as to annoy the sheriff. Awful. That sounded like a moose getting his tonsils out. Almost as bad as your cooking. Now, now, you boys stop complaining or I'll arrest that saxophone player and put him in the same cell as you. Oh, no, mercy, no, Sheriff! Don't, don't do it! Don't do it, boss! Not that. I don't get it. All my life, people say to me, Miles, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to do? Well, I found something, and now no one wants me to do it. 
so long, saxophone. That's a mighty fine sax you got there, fella. Wow, you're a great drummer. I bet folks like it when you play. See, you're not actively serious, kiddo. You buy a drum, and all your neighbors put their homes up for sale. Boy, I know just how you feel. No one likes my saxophone. I was gonna throw it in the river. Don't do that, Jack. Uh, my name's Miles. When you're playing your saxophone, there's a reason the crowds are hissing Cause if you're playing all alone Then the most crucial part is missing All I need is a guy with a drum oh, That's the answer to it, my chum I Get a band and before you know I'll be the star of a video With, with a saxophone And drum Got a great sound, man, but something is missing. I know I'm a lousy player. I mean, besides that, hey, give a listen to that library. Then stay out. Shh. And stay out. Well, some folks just don't like good music, you know. I knows the feeling. I knows the feeling. Now, that's what this band needs, Clyde. Uh, my name is Miles. You really think we need a guitar? Are you kidding? Well, just a sax and a drum are fine. They give you notes and a sense of rhythm. I put a cop and really shine. When the guitar is playing with them. If we all want to reach for a star, what we need is to get a guitar. Then a band is gonna go far. Got a good call that I can strong. What are we doing here? Uh, leave it to me, Roger. Miles. Right. Our combo needs just one more thing. And here he comes now. Give a listen. Well, that's my cool horn player. If we get all of here alive, come on, Myron. Miles. Hey, you got some lip there, pal. Oh, thanks. I just gotta express myself. Well, how about expressing yourself with, uh, with our band? Well, it's not like you don't need me. If your group hasn't got some brass, then you might just as well go dump it. Any band can have real class with the sound of a mighty trumpet. If our trio is sounding forlorn, all we need is a cat with a horn. Got our band and we're here to play. Now they won't tell us to go away cause we are a band today. That four piece band's a real winner. Bigger I find, four course dinner. And the drummer will be our order. For the main course, we will serve the guitar player lightly ride. Trumpet player on the side. And guys, let's save that little squirt. The sax player is for dessert. Yeah. <laughs> we'll return after these messages.
Laser Tag, the game that moves at the speed of light. From Worlds of Wonder, stadium not included. Kids and stuff, kids and stuff, kids and stuff. Kids and stuff. Play school. Now send the run. Turn the crank, snap the flank. Kick the boot down the chute. Watch it roll, hit the pole. In the tub of rubber dub. With the man in the pan. The trap is set. Now drop the net. Gotcha! Catch a mouse with mouse trap. The craziest game you've ever seen. Get the cheese, but don't get trapped. Mouse on the run. Little mice on the run. Race them just for fun. I go here, you go there. Give the mice a little scare. Watch them go, don't be fun. The trap is set. Now drop the net. From Milton Bradley. And now back to CBS Story Break. Do you think I've got what it takes? You just never know till you get in front of an audience. Oh. <laughs> well, looky here. We got ourselves a real band. Charge! Come on, Jackson. Come on! Was that all really necessary, hmm? What are we gonna do? Only thing musicians know how to do, play! Maybe somebody will hear us and save us. Hey, we're not bad. Elwood, I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, don't think we want to hurt you, do you? Us think that? Of course not. <laughs> we was so hoping that we could engage a little orchestra here to play in a special gator gathering tonight. You mean we get to live and play a gig? And we'd really love, after you perform, to have the four of you for dinner. <laughs> Be quiet, Buford. What do you say? You got yourself a band. We're gonna be real hot for you. Just medium rare will do fine. But I've never played in front of an audience before. Relax. You don't get nervous if you know you're good. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> Welcome to the Swamp Queen. I am your gator waiter, and for tonight's entertainment, four wonderful musicians. <laughs> and for tonight's menu, four wonderful musicians. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're a cold-blooded group tonight. And we got a treat for you. Oh, uh, I can't go out there. What if they don't like our music? Nobody ever has. Listen, Grover, you want to be a musician? You want to be in a band? Uh, of course, but... Uh... But nothing. If you want to be in a band, you got to play along. Yeah, you got to make a little noise. 
<laughs> so now, ladies and gents, gators and crocs, put your claws together and welcome tonight's main course. Hey, I mean main attraction. Miles Possum and his swinging swat review. Unless we play something real hot. But I don't know any hot songs. Think, Elroy. Did you learn any at home? Mama wouldn't let me play my sax at home. Hey, that's it! Mama don't allow no music playing around here. Well, we don't care. Mama don't allow no music playing around here. Mama don't allow no music playing around here. Well, Mama don't allow no guitar playing around here. Mama don't allow no guitar playing around here. Well, I don't care what Mama don't allow. Get it out. Mama don't allow no guitar playing around here. Well, well now, Mama don't allow no guitar dancing around here.
kid. You got it. You really got it. Yeah, you're going to be one great musician. All you need is a little practice. Practice, practice, and more practice. Hi, Mom. Hi, Pop. Guess what? I was in a real live band. And when I grow up, I'm going to be a musician. I'm going to practice every day till I'm good enough. Hollow Miles finally has a goal in life. Yep, maybe my son's gonna turn out all right after all. Oh, good night, Esther. Oh, not Hollow. after these messages. Rocky Road Cereal presents Live at the Cereal Bowl. It's the Rocky Road Breakfast Band. Chocolate chocolatey puff, it makes my heart sing. And vanilla puff is such a tasty thing. I've got something really special for you. It's got a chocolate and nutty coated marshmallow too. It's Rocky Road Cereal, a rocking part of this complete breakfast. Modifiers changes from streetcar to race car and back to eat up any highway or track. Modifiers, Corvette or power pickup by Ertl. Announcing a new arrival. Uh, Mr. Potato Head. Oh, that's me. Congratulations. <laughs> it's a potato. Oh. Oh. It's Mr. Potato Head family. There's Mr. Mrs. and Baby too. Potato Head family, I love you. With eyes and ears and hats and noses. You can put them in so many poses. And change your music as one, two, three. Mr. Potato Head family. I like you, funny baby. Mr. Potato Head family. From Play School. Now back to CBS Story Break. Good. Frosted Flakes, good. They're good. Right. Show them you're a tiger. Grr. Show them what you can do. Go, tiger. The taste of Tony's Frosted Flakes. Fast. They're fast. Bring out the tiger in you. And you. Ten four. It's a rock and roll speaker. Inside, Jim keeps a wardrobe and accessories. And there's a real speaker you plug your own music into while Jim gets ready for a night out with the hologram. Now it's a city. Jim's rock backstage and Jim's wardrobe and Jim and her friends sold separately from Hasbro. Jim! Weekday mornings are a blast. Because Channel 2 has a dynamite duo for you. go -Bots and Ghostbusters. Each weekday morning at 8, fighting to save the galaxy from destruction are the Gobots battling the evil renegades. And then, take a ride in a ghost buggy with the comedy adventures of Ghostbusters. All new episodes every morning at 8.30. For an explosion of fun, catch the dynamite duel of Gobots and Ghostbusters. Weekday morning starting at 8 on Channel 2. 